Oh yeah. Testing, testing. You don't have to put it right, just talk Testing. Okay. Is that working okay? Yep, I'm working it. Okay, you can turn it off and Okay. Can you get me a chair? Yeah. Go get me a book. Go get me a book. Get me a book, get me a book real quick, bye. Right? I think uh, we need lot one. We need lot number one up here. I kind of jumped it on these guys. They were over there getting numbered. But uh, we're going to go in catalog order. If you're up early in the catalog, first 10, you probably need to get your horse and be ready to lead through here in a bit. Uh, and we, like I said, we want to roll on here and kind of get this done. We got a lot on the slate, and we don't want to run out of time to rope and do the other things we want to do. So, uh, Anyhow, I'll try not to talk too much. My wife tells me to slow down on how much talking and just get people doing. So anyhow, uh, we're just about to have lot one, two, three, four, and five up here, and we're going to lead them through. These guys are going to come with their bridle so they can bridle them in front of us and look in their mouth, pick up their feet, and talk about any blemishes or any little things on them that, that need to be disclosed. So uh, uh, here shortly, we're going to let her roll here. We've got our live feed up. We've got Mr. Seth Jensen here and his dad here. And... Uh, They've come up to help us run the video today. He handles the uh, Hugh Baldwin's horse sales in, in Utah and runs a video down there, and we appreciate their help here today. Cindy Witzel, 
is here our website gal she's sitting down here behind the stand and she's keeping us lined out and making sure we're up and our feeds on so if you're at home watching uh, we're going to do the best we can for you to get a good view of these horses I realize a lot of people are busy this time of year and aren't just going to maybe not be here today hopefully tomorrow but we've got the live feed and want to enable people to watch these horses if they're not here too uh so anyhow that said we're just real close to having lot one as quick as i he's right here we're going to probably call him in here in just a second Guys, I'm going to call lot number one into the ring here, and uh, I'm going to have him just trot down just a little ways here. My wife, Jerry Shellman, she's coming through the pan here. She's our sales secretary. If you have not turned in your paperwork, your horse sale paperwork, she's got her d desk over here on the lawn, and uh, that n paperwork needs turned in here this morning. Is there anything else you want me to add to this? Okay, and if you aren't entered in the Dockering or Branding uh, three-man team, you need to get with Jarris and do that before, if you want to. You don't have to, but it's 100 bucks a man. We're going to give rifles away to the winners again. Um, Brandon and Dockering contest, it's a two-round average, and we'll do that after lunch today. You don't have to enter it, but if you want to, get on that list with her. If, if you want on a team and don't have a team, come over and say, hey, let's work at getting on a team. So we've, we've got quite a few of those where I said, hey, I don't know who to ask, but we'd be glad to help you. Okay, lot number one. Tyler, just come on around there with this good guild. And if you want to just trot him down there just a little ways, if he will, then you don't have to go very far. Guys, this is lot number one. He's Tyler Woodland's consignment. Go ahead and bring him back, Tyler. Guys, I solicited this gilding. A good friend of mine, Thomas Wilson, called me and said, Corey, you need to you need to call this guy. He's got a good gilding that I, I think you need in the sale. Uh, Tyler's there at Paradise, Nevada. Go ahead and uh, let's look at his teeth. If you'd just open his, pull his upper lip back and I'll take a look at that. All right, everything's there teeth line up perfectly and pick his feet up I'll hold your bridle he's going to pick up his feet here source got a good good round symmetrical foot on him good to pick up his feet good to shoe Is this Gildan? He's got a little superficial scar on his left forearm here. It's it's nothing, but he does have a scar on that left forearm, and uh, long ways from his heart. I don't see any other marks on him other than some little marks on his back, and they're haired up good. Pretty set of withers on this horse. I'd saddle fits on him really nice, I'd imagine. Tyler's going to bridle him here. I've had a lot of people call wanting to buy just a good old guild and you know that was the right deal and said we don't need a show horse we just want a nice ranch guild and and I've I've told quite a few people take you need to take a look at this horse he's first out in the sale I don't want anybody to sit there and think well I got a lot behind me and wish I'd have bought him later uh, he's one of the best in the sale so uh, if you haven't got him marked you need to talk to this young man with a good guild in here he's 
Tyler's been accepted to the King Ranch Institute Ranch Masters Program in, in Texas there at Kingsville, and that's a two-year commitment to go down there and, and get that master's degree in ranch management. So that's why the horse is for sale. He would not be otherwise. Um, he's been down there on the Crawford Ranch and ranching on doing the whole deal on him. Uh, he tracks straight. Everything's good, and unless there's something you want to about him. Tyler, thank you. Nice gilding. Thank you for the consignment. We need lot number two. We've got Jimmy Van Bell over there. He's over there shaking hands and getting votes over there. Jairus Jimmy needs to come in here. We've got Jimmy Van Bell here. Uh, this is Rev It Up in Red, consigned by Jimmy Van Bell. He's a 2013 saw gilding. Go ahead and trot him straight away, Jimmy. Okay, bring him right back. Guys, this horse tracks up good. Uh, Guys, this might sometimes seem like overkill picking up the feet, but it is what it is. I, if you got one and, and anybody that had one, you can't pick up their feet and you, you wish you could. So we just like to see it done here. Um, nice horse down here, Lou Shank, just right on his own. I, there's a lot of video of this horse. Jimmy called me way last fall and told me he wanted to bring this guild and the other one. I appreciate his consignment. He's topped her sale here three years ago and brought us good horses since and really enjoyed doing business with Jimmy. Awful nice gilding. We'll go ahead and bridle him. Uh, yeah, this horse, I don't know if you, if you haven't watched the video of all these horses, you need to, but Jimmy had these videos done of these horses. I don't really early in March and had them posted. And, uh, it wasn't like he, you know, was trying to get this horse broke the week before the sale to get a video of him. If you came for a good one, like I say, we've got two good ones right up front that uh, are top shelf kind of gildens. And I've just told people that are interested in them, you need to be ready and come swinging on these horses early in the sale. But awful nice gilding here. Great video of him. Bridle's easy. We're going to look at his teeth real quick here. I don't know. Do it right here. I think we can do it right there. Mouth's excellent. Everything's there. Super. Yeah, that's it. If unless you wanna, you wanna swing on bareback and ride around here or anything. Uh, I'm just giving you a hard time. Jimmy's good. very good. Jimmy, thank you. Nice guild in here. Rev it up in red lot number two. If you're watching at home, he just left the ring. Uh, everything's in order there. We need lot number three. We have Wade Black here with lot number three. His consignment. This is Drifter's Gun and Done. He's a 2011 done gilding just trot him straight down and come right back you don't have to go too far away guys big pretty done gilding here weights had this horse for several years um, big round foot on him everything looks good to me here He's got a little, maybe a little superficial scar on the left hind there on his pastern, but no, nothing, nothing else. So pick up his feet, Wade. Do you want me to hold your bridle or are you good? Good on his feet here. We've, it's, this has been, we've had Wade here at our cell before. We appreciate the opportunity to have Wade here. He's been, uh, a busy man and he called me the same early last winter and told me he wanted to come this year uh enjoy having Wade back he waits just off his laurels after winning the road to the horse world championship so he'd like to, to if you haven't shook his hand and congratulate him Wade Wade won that contest down there in Texas this winter and uh not an easy thing to do by any means um 
excellent horseman and great family man. We appreciate Wade's consignment. Good Gildy. Bridle's easy. And we'll look at his teeth now. Good on his feet. Everything's there in order. All his teeth lines up good. Yes, thank you. Yep, very good, Wade. Pretty done gilding here. Big stout buckskin gilding of Wade's. If you came to get one to do some real work on, this is a nice horse and been in excellent hands. Okay, we have lot number four. No. Okay, we've got some scratches. Lot four. Are you six? Lot five's here, but he's not. He's my brother's riding him, so he might not be here yet. We'll have to roll him through later. We're going to roll ahead of the catalog, lot five. Four is a scratch, if you're watching at home. We have lot six in the ring. Jimmy Dominguez with her nice sorrel mare. She's going to trot her straight down here and then come right back. Lot number six. She's a... Uh, Daughter of Smart Little Pepinick, the old heralded Ward Ranch sire and leading sire of rain cow horses, the right kind. You can pick up her feet. The mare stretch uh, got a little, kind of a little bit of a maybe a old splint there, but that those solid on that, no issues there. This mare's got. Stock and legs, but she's got those freckles around all the way around on all four feet. You know, little sorrel hair, and she honestly has almost dark feet, even though she's stock and legged for people that some people want a white, hard, black footed horse. Uh, her feet are basically dark. Um, cute little mare, excellent on her feet here. We're going to look in her mouth real quick. Yeah, mouth's easy, everything's there, teeth are all there, lines up good. Jimmy's going to bridle her here. We appreciate Jimmy coming up. They're, they're down, her and Frank, her husband, are down there, cow boss at the YP Ranch, a busy time of year. Uh, they brought us a good guild in here a few years ago. Super horse was one of our high sellers here. And uh, excellent horseman here. Jimmy and uh, Frank do a really good job. There's a good video of this mare if you haven't watched it. Um, and doing everything on her branding calves and ranching on her beautiful mare jimmy thank you and uh yeah get a look at this one you're not going to go around and find pepinick or if they're still getting any i don't know if they are he might if he's there might not be many more because i know that horse getting some age on him so Okay, we just had lot six. We now have lot number seven. Trot him down, Cole. Big, pretty Bay Gildan here. Slow circles, lot number seven. Same deal here. We appreciate Cole coming up. He's he's brought us our sale topper two years in a row now and always brings us a good horse. Nice Bay Gildan here that Cole and his wife own. Uh, horse is straight as near as I can tell anything I don't think there's anything to disclose on him that you can you see anything Cole I don't we're good there Cole's bridling him lot number seven slow circles he's a 2014 Bay Guild and he's a son of new circle and cash snap a bit sturdy champion with Teddy Robinson he bridles easy Big stopping horse, same deal, very good. He mouth's good, everything's had his teeth floated recently and everything. Guys, this horse is just a little rough on both knees. He's bet his knees to x-rayed and they're good. The horse is selling sound. Um, just not bad, but he's just a tick rough. Pretty gilding, straight legged, good footed, big hipped and very broke. Same deal, Cole's got a good video of him up. 
I'll have you walk him out, Cole. Nice guild and everything's here. My teeth are good, rides good, and one of the better gildens in the sale. So I appreciate the consignment from the hooks. Carmen Buckingham here. All right, we've got lot number eight. Good, good guild in here. She's going to trot him down for me. Guys, this horse probably, he wings a little bit when he trots. He's straight, he, but he, he's kind of, when he, when he trots to you, he doesn't land just in perfect rhyme, but he, the horse is straight-legged and good-footed. Everything's good there. I don't see a mark on him on his legs anywhere, Carmen. Yeah, he, they got him from some good folks that raised him, and he's been in awful good hands. Uh, Buckingham's go and find and make these good gillens a hard kind to find and tom told me that when he consigned this horse he thought he might be one of the best that he'd ever had in the sale as far as fitting anybody that wants to go and get along he's got a maybe a little bit of a wind puff down on this right ankle but not a big deal this horse been sound at home and and uh, he's using horse sometimes, just like you or I, I'll get a little bump or this or that there. But everything's good here. He bridles good, teeth's good. Very good. Yep, everything's right on there. Beautiful gilding. If we were calling a confirmation class back today, this horse would sure enough be in the cut. He's not very, very tall. That sucker cinches deep and stout and good set of withers and awful nice gray gilding. If you came to get a a pretty guild and it's very broke and and a good one that's a nice horse Bodie Evans here we appreciate Bodie coming he he's got lot number nine uh let me look at the book here I'm gonna trot off here very good Bodie got this gilding from Kirk Robertson there at Arco this horse probably, I'd say, toes in just a tick in the front. Uh, it's not the end of the world, but he does toe in a tick in the front. I, he doesn't have any other. He's got some little superficial marks, some nick marks. This horse is running with the cavy and, and the brush, and sometimes you're going to have some of that with them, the horse working for a living. Let's look at his teeth, Bodie. He's just a four-year-old. His mouth is yeah, right there. He's got those uh, impermanents coming in on the side still for next year, but uh, everything's good there. Pretty mouth on him. If you want to pick up his feet and all of that. Guys, Bodie and Bailey over there on that uh, Dietrich Association there and the rock pile over there and running lots and lots of cattle and uh, they bought us good horses here for several years. I always appreciate their consignments. Same deal here. Great video of this horse online. If you came to get a good a good four-year-old that's really done a job and been in good hands and hasn't just kind of been piddled around with a little bit, but actually been out and really done some work, this is a nice guild and a young guild, and but been very exposed and uh, been in good hands. Good bred horse. And the horse probably, I would guess, going to grow a tick, too, still. His mother and his daddy was a, really a big, thick, beautiful horse. And I, I guess when you look at this horse when he's six, he's going he's gonna to weigh another 200 pounds and be just as athletic. But got a good big foot on him, flat-boned horse, good withers. Bridles easy there. I've been riding in this forage. I've been riding good in it. Okay. Yeah, Bodie's hanging his bridle on him, but he said he, he's not calling him a bridle horse so that you wouldn't need two hands at times, but horse is, is carrying that roller bit. So once in a while we get people buy one here and said, I saw him riding with the bridle, but I can't neck crane him. And so that that doesn't mean he's he's not selling him as a bridle, but he is accepting that heavy bit. And as a four-year-old, it's good. So yeah, or his shank bit with split reins or, you know, if you had to put your snaffle bit back on, but Nice, nice big guild in here from the Evans, and we appreciate their good consignment. Always enjoy having them. Thank you, Bodie. That's lot number nine. He just left the pen. 
Uh, we've got lot number 10 here. Go ahead and trot him down. How are you, Andy? Good to see you. We've got Andy Holcomb at the shank here for Rick and Julie Jones. Lot number 10. Go ahead and come on back, Andy. Uh, yeah, guys, I, I, uh, Tim Green, I leased this mare from Tim. The colt was born and raised here. They bought him here two years ago as a three-year-old and brought him back bigger and stouter and broker. So I appreciate him coming back with this good guild. And uh, let's go ahead and pick up his feet, Andy. I'll hold your... Get on his feet, picks up all over every corner. We'll look at his teeth and then I'll have you bride him. Guys, he's got one tooth that's a little bit different. Uh, if you want to, he everything's fine. He eats his feed fine, but he's got he's got an incisor in the front here that's a little bit different. And if if that's an issue with you, you need to take a look at that. It's not obviously it's not affecting his health. The horse is grazing and getting along good and healthy and fat, but he does have one tooth that's that's not perfect. He's gonna bridle him here. Guys, a lot of video of this horse. Uh, the Jones, Randy Layton, Andy Holcomb, these guys all work together, but we appreciate them bringing this guild back. They've done an excellent job with him. If you came to get a five-year-old that's been in good hands and doing a real job and a big-time horse to go on and do more, uh, they've, they've really brought this court horse along good. It's exciting to see him back here. But uh, deep cinching horse, big butted horse, and they're going to do the whole deal here on him this weekend. But Thank you for the consignment and and uh, good good stout guild in here, lot ten. All right, we've got Bryce Fadine here and his son with lot number eleven. Bryce, what's your boy's name again? Uh, Jace. We've got Jace Fadine. If you haven't watched the video, Jace he he shows horse good for his dad in that video. He's working him out here today too. Jace is earning his earning his board at the Savadeen home. Guys, this is a nice horse. I don't know if you haven't watched the video, you need to because this little guy crawls up one leg and all over him and does everything. Dad's going to trot him down. Very good. Go ahead and come on back, Bryce. This horse is light and got some life. Um, but this boy's riding him. Sometimes on these kids' horses, they don't all line out and go real easy. You know, you can get one gentle enough for them, but they don't, they don't go for them. And this horse is light on the pedal and light on the rein. Like Bryce told me, he's not a bridle horse per se, but he's riding in that shank bit. And anything this boy wants to do with him, you know, half under him and kind of just picks that leg right up for him. Bryce is right there. We're going to get this kid in horseshoe in school when he's about 13 and get a little more mileage out of this boy here. Good cowboy here. I think he's might be already doing a little of that for his dad. So but he's going to bridle him here, and then we're going to look at his teeth. First time consignment here with Sedines. I, I sold some cows at Bryce a few years ago, and, and we've uh, visited several times since in the past couple years. Enjoyed doing business with him and his family. Uh, first time on this guild in here, but they brought us a good one. We appreciate the consignment. He bridles easy. We're going to look at his teeth here. He's letting me mouth him one-handed here. Everything's right there. Uh, nothing out of sort there, so... Very good. We'll lead him out, and thank you to the Svedines. Nice guild in lot number 11. 
like I say, lots of video and a good video of this horse. If you haven't watched these videos, make sure you go back and watch them. But these guys did their due diligence and got a good video up of that gilding. All right, we have lot, lot number 12. We've got Mr. Jake Brown here with his bay gilding. You raised this horse from a colt, or did you buy him? Got him since a three-year-old. Okay. Guys, big stout bay gilding here. Uh, Jake's brought us good horses here over the years several times, and I've told people he wouldn't bring, you know, you'll call, and if he didn't have one in the bridle and this and that, he wouldn't come. Jake's going to pick up his feet here. He told me he wanted to visit about this horse on shoeing. Um, he came to me this morning and just said, before we talk about this, he said he's one of those horses, if you get in a hurry and you want to whack him around and, and, and uh, you know, push on him, he said, he said, if he takes it away, you just want to give it back to him. You don't want to get in a big, he's not going to jerk a nail through your leg or anything, but you don't want to get in a, that you know i'm gonna thump on you for wiggling a little bit or something he's not a rank horse shoe they don't sedate him or anything but he said he's one of those horses he, if you got in and got to shoving him around and gonna you know get after him for every little thing he said he he he, he wouldn't tolerate it so horse picking up his feet good here he's been in good hands with the browns he's had him since he was a three-year-old and put this horse up in the bridle we'll look at his teeth and then we'll bridle Mouth's good, everything's right there. Uh, yeah, like I said before, Jake's one of those guys, unless he's got one in the bridle, he won't come. I've called before in every other year, and he said, I don't know if I got one ready this year. So you're not just going to get a horse because it's time to sell one and hurry up and put a bid on him. This horse has been brought along the old-fashioned way. Very good. Okay. Smooth Bay Gildan here. He is papered also. Um, there was They were at AQHA when he sent them in, and uh, it, there was a little mix-up at catalog time. But this horse has a little roan hair on his back. Other than that, he doesn't have a mark on him. And a nice built Gildan from the Browns. This horse been brought along and one of the better bridle horses in the sale. All right, we need lot number 13. We've got Dusty and Lindy Easter days, Roan Gildan. Get Dusty out here leading this horse. Yeah, very good. Nice, nice Roan Gildan here from the Easter days. He's not going to trot, is he? That's okay. Guys, this horse lands straight on every side. He, uh, he's got a, he's got a wire scar on his left hind on his hawk. It, same deal. It's a superficial thing. That's not deep. Okay. They, they rope burn him or something as a yearling, I think. And so, uh, that's what that is on either leg. He's got a little funny little deals, uh, the breeder there. Lindy, we're going to open his mouth here and look at his teeth. Mouth's good here. Okay, go ahead and you want me to hold your bridle and you pick his feet up or 
uh, same deal here on this Gildan. Lots of video. Uh, they, Lindy and Dusty had a video up earlier this horse. It's been the third year they've come here and they brought us good horses every time. This really nice horse here. Um, but extensive video doing everything on him, wrapping a rope around him, Lindy getting up next to the trailer to get on him. He came for a nice roan guild, and this is a good horse. Uh, I rode a full brother to his mother when I first started training horses professionally 20 plus years ago and for uh, Ken Jones and a horse Tom Buckingham raised out of that Colonel's little champ that Tom won the snaffle bit futurity on in Fresno. Uh, those horses were good, good horses, big footed horses, but lots of athleticism that could stop and turn around and, but had some size and dimension, a, a genuine smoke and he's out of a good Fort Ranch bred stud, the, the, so bred true and true on each side. Bridle's good. We're going to look at his teeth now. Oh, I already did that. Right. Yep. I'm going to get ahead of myself. Uh, Anyhow, like I say, if you video, they've done their part here too. That video was up a few weeks ago, well ahead of the sale, and same deal. It wasn't a trying to get him broke to video him. It's they got got it done, you know. So doing their part to show this horse and uh, a good good consignment from the Easter days. Thank you. Okay, we need lot number fourteen. We've got lot 14 consigned by Sean Lacarica, Chicks Biogo Santana. He's a 2010 Bay Gilding. Oh, he had to borrow a bridle, Sean did here. Yeah, yeah, trot him just straight away there. Go ahead and come back, Sean. Guys, this horse is, he lands good, everything's good. His right front, he's probably off a tick in the right front and toes out just a tick. He's sound, but if you're going to fault him, he, he kind of, he's a little toed out on the right front. We're going to look at his teeth here. See, mouth's good. You've got one tooth that sticks out a little on one side. A great big deal. Guys, this horse has, he's got a lower incisor that, juts out a little it's healthy it's right there and it's honestly not it's superficial but good teeth on him um sean's gonna pick his feet up here it's good on the good on the feet on each corner Very good. Guys, Sean brought us a really good horse last year. We appreciate his consignment again. And this is an awful nice gildan here. Good bay gildan. We'll bridle him. I, I've told people a lot. They want to know about our sift. And I said, well, honestly, our, our consigners are self-sifting for the most part. And. Sean had two horses in the sale, and earlier he called and he said he had one that was not sound and, and didn't put him in. Um, this is a nice guild in here. He, other than, he's got a little split in his right ear, but if you're buying over the phone or something, but it's not a big deal at all. Uh, good hip horse, good top on him, deep cinching horse, and uh, been there at Lack Creek, is doing a real, real job on the ranch. A lot of good video of him, too. These guys had their video up well ahead of time and uh, waiting on us to get some things done. So uh, if you came for a good one, make sure you get on and watch that video. Sean, thank you. Okay. Better. better hopefully all right we've got lot number 15 
You got Landon and Annie Hall's consignment. Go ahead and trot him down, Annie. Lot 15 here, quite the kitty chaser. Seen a lot of mileage on this gildan already. Um, he trotted down, you're doing good. He won't make you do the 4-H horse show here much longer. Uh, guys, good gildan here. He might toe in just a little bit in the front, but not bad. He's got a big round foot on him, flat boned. I'm gonna have Annie pick his feet up here. Uh, they brought us a, probably just almost a carbon copy to this horse two years ago. It was well received here at Shellman's and and uh, sold well. The folks that bought him, you know, love him. Took him back to the ranch there and uh, for their their son that was learning to ride, coming along. The, this horse bred there by River Bend Ranch there at the Fort Ranch. Where Landon and Andy managed that horse program there for Frank and Vandersloot and the Jacobs family. Uh, this horse has been in good hands his whole life. He's picked his feet up good. We're going to mouth him. Everything's in order there. Nice set of teeth on him and everything's in line. Pretty top on this horse. This horse isn't isn't super tall, but he's deep. Good set of withers, short back, long underline. Uh, like I say, he's got a big round foot on him and lots of bone and hind leg. He's this horse is bred to hold up and do a real job. Uh, put up nice, very nice. Thank you to the halls for an excellent consignment. He bridles easy. Uh, same deal here. We've had lots of calls on him already. If you came came for him you need to get with the halls and visit because it they'll give you the straight up on him and a very nice gilding all righty we have emma via grana here with their consignment lot number 16 this is is v is something here i'm getting my book open trotting up Go ahead and bring him back, Emma. Lot number 16 via Starlight. I remembered that right. <laughs> You're doing good, Emma. Um, I'm going to talk about it now, and they disclosed it on their video. His right front, he's got a wire scar that came down into that hoof a little bit. They filled it with some epoxy, but he does have some damage to that hoof wall on the right front. They're guaranteeing him sound on it. If this concerns you, you need to watch the video and look at that because there's a picture of it before they epoxied it. And we don't want anybody to buy this horse and go home and then a month later issue him and say, hey, I didn't know that looked like that. They're, they got a video of it and a picture of it online on the website, but make sure you take a look at that. Horse good on it, good picks up his feet, good, good to shoe. I'm sure Joe or the boys have been shoeing this horse for a long time, so you know he's a good to shoe. He bridles easy, super gentle, and uh, they brought us a good horse last year and have sold good horses with us in the past. This horse been there at the J Spear, doing a real job on a big outfit and doing the whole deal. The head and steers on him, brand calves doing everything. He bridles good. Look at his teeth here, mouth's easy. Everything's in line there. So, Emma, thank you for, yes. Very good. Nice gildan. That right front, it, lot 16, if you're at home and want to bid over the phone or something, you need to take a look at that video they've got posted online on our website because he does have some damage to that right hoof wall in his right front. All right. We've got my friend Casey Brunson here. He's gonna. He's got Slugger, lot number 17. Guys, he trots up good. It's the first time Casey's come over here. I, I've known Casey when I was in Idaho years ago, and a good horseman, a heck of a hand with a horse, excellent roper, and a good cowman. I honestly hadn't talked in a long time. He called me earlier this spring and said he had a guild he wanted to bring and told me what he had, and I, I told him I, I thought we could use one like him here. This horse is uh, 
a unique offering here, but I, I think an awful good one. And uh, I encourage people to pay attention to this horse throughout. He's been in good hands, doing a real job. Bridle's easy. Going to pick his feet up here. So, picks his feet up good on that side. Awesome. Good solid foot on every corner. I don't see a mark on him, Casey. This horse wiggle a little around a little bit here to pick up his feet, but you know this horse been shod by Casey for five years probably now, years. so that he's had a good horseman under him and the horse is good to shoe. We'll look at his teeth here real quick. No, I I got to talking. He might be a half over, but he's not parrot mouthed, and everything lines up good and even good set of teeth on him so thank you to casey i appreciate the good consignment uh guys this horse like i say they run over there in gooding in a rock pile and i guarantee you if you want to go home and use one he knows what a real job is and he's you know the kids could get along get a lot but if grown man's got to get on him and do something too don't overlook him a nice gilding all right we have paul padilla here with his own gilding appreciate paul coming up from nevada He's been bringing us some good horses for the last several years. He showed me this horse a year ago and told me he wanted to bring him. Lot 18. Go ahead and trot him down, Paul. This horse is bred by Frank and... He's not sure he wants to trot, but horse lands right. Try him trotting back, Paul. See if he'll trot back to the gate. He might go. That's all right. He's guys. This horse is straight as a string, coming and going. Thing lines up good here. I'm gonna hold him while Paul picks up his feet. Oh, you're good. Yeah, this horse is by uh, Dominguez Pep de Boone, small son. He picks his foot up a little bit, wrist there on that end. He's letting him do it, but he, some of these horses, you reach down and touch them just right, they're going to pick it up quicker, whatnot. Good to shoe, but probably a horse that you're still going to want. Somebody knows what they're doing the first time you shoe him a few times. They haven't had any issues with him, but some of these horses, till they get shot a few times, are going to be a little feelier. Look at his teeth real quick, too. Pardon. Is he missing one? Paul said he's, this horse is missing. He's missing two incisors on the right front. Um, yeah, he runs out there in Nevada on pasture. So he is missing two incisors on the right front, if that's something you want to look at. If you're watching at home online, he is missing two. He's healthy, he can graze, but he he's missing two upper teeth that, that won't will not come in. Bridle's good, everything's good here. Guys, nice gilding from the Padillas. We appreciate the consignment. These guys run a bunch of cattle down there, lots of cattle in big country and Nevada and, and uh, brought us good horses the last two years. And I appreciate this good consignment in the young gilding here. If you came to get one, it's been doing a real job and from good people get with Paul and his wife and visit about him, but excellent consignment and gilding has been doing, doing a real job. All right. Lot number 19. We've got Jim Barton here. 
we're going to give you the, the J right where the horse isn't a sift, but you're limping and you're a sift. Go ahead and lead him down, Jim. Lot number 19. Trot him. Lot 19, go ahead and come back, Jim. If he'll trot back, try to trot him. I don't know if he will. Very good. Big, pretty blue Ron Gildon here from the Bartons. Good horseman, a good family over there in Cary, Idaho. Run a lot of cattle. and I'll have you pick up his feet, Jim. Get on his feet here. We'll look at his teeth, Jim. Get me all wrapped up here. Mouth's good. Everything's there. And he's just four. Is that right, Jim? Four-year-old mouth on him. Good dark foot on him in the front and good two little socks in the hind. Good solid foot on the hind end there. This horse, same deal. They run over there in that Laidlaw Park country this time of year. That's just off of Hell's Half Acres. They're craters of the moon. And if you think you got rocks, you need to go there. So this horse is dang sure seen a rock pile and knows how to get around a rough country. Bridle's easy. Leads up easy. Guy's pretty top on this horse. Deep cinching horse. Deep heart girth. Flat bone. Nice set of withers there. And uh, we... Jim said he didn't like that city water at the fairgrounds. Didn't drink real good last night. But, uh, guys, that's a big stout horse. And just four, these four-year-olds are the same. are going to, two years from now, this horse is going to be another 150 pounds heavier and a, a lot more horse. He already is. But thank you to Jim and Suze on this good consignment. And uh, watch more on him. Good video of him. They've done the whole deal on him, too. We'll take lot number 20. Guys, lot 20, she's winning the halter class here. Trots up pretty. We appreciate this consignment from the Wilsons. First time consigners here. Great young couple here. Uh, very good. This is Megan Wilson here. Joel's got her showing the horse for him today. I met Joel two or three years ago at the TS Brandon and, and uh, a good hand. Those boys were all riding Colts on the crew and was doing a really good job there. Good horseman. And he called me this winter and told me he was in Idaho and married and, and uh, training horses and, and going after this till and had a good guild he wanted to consign. I told him I'd sure love to have him. Nice guild in here. Horse is excellent on his feet. Beautiful hoof, big dark round foot on him. Good on his feet. Let's look at his teeth, and then we'll and then we'll bridle him. This horse, he's a son of J.P. Rolling Thunder. Is that right? Or yeah, that's what I thought. It's excellent teeth are all in place and everything there. Meg, Megan's going to bridle him. Guys, these J.P. Rolling Thunders, are I've had several of them myself. My brother's got a roan mare that his kids ride that's just a peach. But these these are nice horses, really nice horses. And uh, so product of good breeding here. Beautiful back on him. Stand-up set of withers, deep heart girth, short back. He... This horse is, he's not putting in two eyes, putting in too low. He's about to let her put it on him. This is, a, this is a nice guild in here. There's a lot of bit here. There we go.
that mouthpiece lays real low, almost backwards on that mouth a little bit and it kind of angle funny there. But guys, this is a nice horse. Bridle's good. Kids aren't going to have any trouble getting it on him. He'll put it down there for them. So I don't see a mark on him anywhere. So I nice gilding. Thank you to Joel and Megan for bringing this good gilding. Lots of video here too. If you came for a good one, watch that. They've done their job and done all that other stuff that you may or may not get to do without sitting here all day and you get on watch that immediately. Lot 20. Joel, thank you. All right, we've got Raleigh Lyle here. Raleigh and Becky Lyle's consignment, lot 21. Trot's up good here. Raleigh's going to make the big circle here. He's Raleigh, how, how old are you? Oh, you, you know, that's what I thought. You get around better than I do. We go all the way down there and then come back. Yeah. Appreciate Raleigh and Becky bringing this good mare. The Lyles have brought us sail toppers and good horses again and again. And uh, this mare is uh, bred by Linda Bunch. Beautiful mare here and a, honestly a rare offering. Mouth's good. I'll hold her and Raleigh, oh, let me hold that. Guys, uh, I started this mare's mother 20 years ago and uh, she was a peach to start and just just a lady, good moving mare and been a great producer for Linda. Uh, Bobby Ingersoll trained her daddy and, and I Linda brought him to me as some of his four-year-old year after they bred him to a bunch of mares and I think I had him for six weeks and was third at Elko on him and he was a nice horse to get along with not squalling ball and gentleman to be around and this mare is a product of, of parents that were excellent dispositions and good horses and obviously she's been in great hands with Raleigh they've had her since she was a yearling um, rare offering to find the mare this broke and and this type and quality here so she's she doesn't have a bump on her that I can see okay on her lower can lower fetlock there she's got a little bump down there but not a great big deal there pretty back on her deep cinchin mare big hip mare you know she's not a big mare but this mare's really strong uh, I asked Raleigh on her breeding status. They've never bred her. She cycles. He's got a full sister to her that's a red roan, and they hadn't invested as much time in, and he just said business-wise, he said this was the mare to sell. She's broke, and somebody can go and enjoy her, and uh, they not they consider broodmare quality by any, every means. So bridle's good. Mount's good. Uh Raleigh said his 10, 11 year old boys are riding her and they're good little cowboys too. He said he wouldn't consider her for little bitty kids right now, but if you had a kid, a 10, 11 year old kid with some confidence and some, I'll look at her teeth here. Everything's good there. Mount's good. Raleigh, thank you very much. Guys, same deal. If you have a long ways to find a mare like this, this girl bred like this for sale. So I've had a lot of calls on her too already and lots of video. That was a great video I with her. And then if you want to watch how to do a horse that video, watch the file videos. Okay, we've got Tom and Buckingham here again with uh, lot number 22. Let's get done gilding. See these pistol feet, I think, if I remember that. Shots up good here. He's a 2010, lot number 22. Gotten that good. And then sit on every corner. I don't see any marks on him. Get a little bit. Um, it said the folks that had this horse before they got him did not do a good job with him. And uh, I'd like to video him too, the same deal. Uh, I think I want to play the band on him. There's a lot of big tablets too, but they're just not even teenagers yet. Dragging that and dragging big tablets to the fire. Uh, if you think there's both of these boys, they're going to go a long, long, long way to find a bike that's just so doing everything right. 
stab these horses and then he's down that mode on and Jerry Wood and going to all the fandoms and things for the open and doing the whole deal on him. So I get any questions, I'll tell you to stay up on the show then. So I've been doing a real job on it. I always appreciate Peggy, they're very good business with, and they always come dead and fit, you're not going to have to leave a horse in the end, tell you how you know it is, so if you did say I'm supposed to be doing a few more extra TV, because it is a bit humpy, it's not humpy, just tired of it. I've got my daughter here, Sydney, Sydney Shelman Wilson, and she just got married last fall, and uh, go on to keep going with it. About 25. Uh, this horse is a, his full brother came through here just a bit ago, and that's what I said in a couple of years. These horses want to see what this horse will fill out like. Look at his brother, going good here. Uh, second set of shoes on this gentleman, about 25. Uh, and Justin Swanson put the first set on. I guess this would be the third. I shot him. I put some sharp shoes on him last fall. And, uh, my son-in-law, David, wrote him on Christmas Eve. We fell from the cattle home, and we had to cross the river there, running a lot of ice, and keep this cold tire up there, and trick the one in, about six inches of ice on the other side of the bank, and we fell in there. Uh, he's a little wiggly when you chew him, but like I said, I shot him myself two days ago, and good horse to get around the place. This horse, I've had, I've had quite a few calls on him, and like any of them, they aren't all perfect. Um, but he's been a good boy around here. He was kind of a slow start. He's one of those folks that like you know, big, big attention fan, but he, he's never been cranky or hard to get along with. And he's really come along just in the last few days. Quite a bit of video of him here, too, but the horse is a good one, low, good stop, turn around. He's got a lot of cow. We've had him do a few bandings, and I rode him to the mailbox about 11.30 last night and shut the gate in the dark, and I just popped it in him in the barn and went. But if you can't a good young two-year-old wheel, then I, I like this horse, and uh, I think you will, too. So then thank you. Okay, we've got lot number 25 leaving the ring. We've got lot 26 coming, I think. Guys, we've got lot 26 here. Big pretty Saul Gildan here. Red McDonald at the shank. Guys, I've known Red for a long, long time. It says I was I probably 13, 14 years old when I bought my Blanche Checks horse at Sid Tucker. Red was there roping on some horses they had there. Good horseman, I for good horse flesh. Uh, he's bought, a, bought several from my dad over the years and showed them to people that called Larry and said he loved them. And, uh, Red raised this horse from a colt. I'll hold that halter for you. And uh, we talked this thing and we told, I, I told him a year ago I'd enjoy having him on sale sometime. He called me and said, I know I'm an old horse trader, but it's, I'd sure come if you take me up on that. And I said, oh no, we'd love to have you. Okay. Okay. Let's 
said he shot him all his life. 78 and gets along. He died and he didn't even look at his team.
crazy, get about his ears, and think right on there. This horse is just turning five, so he's got some adult teeth coming in on the side of his mouth here. He had some dental work a year ago, had a throat dentist in that long time, so of course that's good now for his leg. Got a saddle mark here on him on one side. That I don't see a bump on this horse. Good fat bone and good foot on him. We appreciate the consignment from Jake. Thank you for the opportunity. is in order. Lot 30 is a scratch. He is not here. We need Lot 31. We have Trent Smith Gildan, smart little bucky, Lot 31. He's a 2013 Buckskin Gildan. There's you need something to me. Go ahead and chart him down, Trent. Not trying great either, don't hold that against him. Horse leads up good. Pretty buckskin horse here. Trent bought us a really nice rolling horse two years ago, and I called last year and he said, you know, just I'm kind of in between having one we want to bring here. He said, when you get one that I feel good, you come to town and roll. He's pointing out his car to me. Okay, he's got his car superficial deal around his left hop there. Uh, Anyhow, it's not deep, but there is a little scar on him there. Pretty good in here. He's going to pick up his feet. Good black foot on him. I'm going to hold you guy a little bit. Okay. Good video of this horse, too. These guys packing on him in the mountains and then cats and doing a bunch of stuff. Um, they run a bunch of cattle over there and providing them around the country and turn the other horse to move down for rock piles and water. And and if you want to ride on the trail or go home and do a real job, you're not going to have to wonder if he's going to go over that or through that. The mouth's good. The teeth are all good there. It's sort of ancient zoning. Fresh shot. Trent said he shot him with wings. Uh, he's got, I guess he's got a little bit of a kind of maybe a little it's just kind of super fish on that one. Right? He's got a little bit of a scar there. Pretty gild in here. Bridle's good. Mount's good. Pretty top line. This is a gorgeous horse. And thank you to the Smiths for an excellent consignment. Yeah, if you want a pretty one to ride around on and get compliments, it's a nice horse. Put up right. Low headed. All right, we've got Jimmy Van Bell coming in here with what? Two, I think. David. Is that better? Yeah. Lot 32, SJR Diamond Wizard. Did you buy him at Reno, Jimmy? Or what did you do? No, we have to be playing. Okay. Jimmy went to Texas to get this horse. He's a San Juan Ranch bred horse. Nice killed, and I'm going to let Jimmy trot him down. Guys, these CD diamonds, you know, like some of the big time open trainers, you don't really want one for an open contender at the futurity, but they make great non pro horses. They're good to get along with and they get broke, but, you know, that's honestly the kind people need, not these flashing around, jumping everywhere kind. This is a nice horse. Jimmy's got him stopped and turning around, broke in the bridle. I'm going to let him pick up his feet. Good hip on him, good heart girth, good wither. Same deal here, good video on this horse. I, both of them, Jimmy lines these horses out on about 1,100 pound bred heifers out in a big old pasture and just comes smoking at them and like he's at Cheyenne at the steer open. And both these horses can run and get to cattle and know how to handle big cattle on the end of the rope. You're riding in the bridle. Stop and turn around. If you want to go home, and do some ranch horse contests, do some, you know, honestly, some cow horse stuff with a little bit more training. 
these horses have had an excellent foundation. They're working a cow, they're stopping, they're circling, then doing a real job down there, band of thousands of calves. Good on his feet. Let's look at his teeth. <laughs> Jimmy said he did, the Colts did get in and chew his tail off, he's, and he will grow a better tail than that, but he, he got the pen mate got his tail. So Good Palomina Guild in here. <laughs> Guys, this horse is, he's missing like an incisor in the front. It's, everything's fine. And it's just kind of almost only like a half a tooth. There's no. Jimmy said they pulled it when he was a three year old. But so it's bent on right. It's not sore. It's healed. Yeah, there's barely a gap. It, it, he, he couldn't even go into a picket fence, like they might say. So he, it's barely there. And uh, But he is missing a tooth on the upper, upper palate. Bridle's good. Everything's good here. Same deal. Watch a video of this horse. Lots of video doing all the hard stuff. And uh, just gentle, gentle, kid gentle. You're going to go a long ways to find one like him. So, Jimmy, thank you for the excellent consignment. All right. We need lot number 30. If he's in the book. So, lot 33. He's got Cole Hook at the same. He's a Tom and Ellis consignment from Klamath. Cole's had this horse all spring. Good luck skin deals in here. Very quiet. Very quiet. Cole's going to trot him up here. Guys, this horse has that open box rafter. He's bred back there by those, those folks in South Dakota. And I guess they paid good money for this horse as a lean when those horses are not cheap, come from a good program. Uh, when they got him. Good foot on him. Deep cinch and horse. Big stopping horse for big horse too. Cole's gonna pick up his feet. Good video on him too. They made a video five weeks ago and had it up branding and sorting and branching on him. Because I've got a colt that's bred similar to him out of some of that same Dakota breed. And three-year-old here that hadn't been rode in a year. And that horse rode good. He, he was a little high low around with saddle and we went back to riding him. There's those folks back there focused on that disposition. And you sure see it in these horses. They're quiet. And you can still do something on them. But they're, they're not maybe as reactionary as some of these hotter dead horses. He'll watch a cow. That's what Cole said. He, he did, he'll watch a cow, but he is gentle and quiet. <laughs> Bridle's easy. Got, got a little curb bed on him there with his tip shank. And mouth's good. Everything's right there. So, honest and the right kind. Thank you, Cole. And thank you to to Tom and Ella. First time consignment for Tom. Cole's been riding this horse and done an excellent job with him. If you came to get a good solid one, big stout one to boot, that's a nice flexion horse. Lot number 34. 34 is a scratch. We need lot number 35. He's a 2018 sorrow gilding. Uh, Jason and Cole Steffler there from Perth. Good friends are good horsemen and cattle in there. His son Tyrell at Shankwood trot him down, Tyrell. Guys, this horse. He's got in his front end there. He probably toes in just a tick. Um, he's he's lying straight, but he probably could toe in a tick and it's like perfecting there. And he's got a little wire scar on his right, left hind there around that hawk and superficial pain. Um, he's got a deal on the bridge of his nose here too. 
So if you're buying over the phone or something, know that he does have a probably something that happened in the last 60 days or three weeks ago. Kind of unfortunate time before the sale. It's healing, but he does have a pretty good, so he's going to have a decent scar on the bridge of his nose. Go ahead and pick up his feet, Tyrell. I'll hold him there. There we go. Guys, a good video of this horse. The Stefflers, they run 15 head of cows over there and, and they're bone in that country. And that's rugged country. And uh, this horse is, you know, bred and running the rocks and knows what outside country is. So good video of them. they are got their video in early. The same deal on these colts. A lot of times like we're trying to break them still. They had that up early and extents is showing of this colt. Well bred. Uh, picks up his feet good. We're going to look at his teeth real quick. He's missing a couple incisors on the front. And they're probably not going to come back in with his age. So he's had some damage there. But if you're concerned about their teeth, this horse is missing some teeth on the upper end. And he's getting along fine in grays. But yeah, it, it, but he just doesn't have a perfect smile for kindergarten picture. So. Gentle cold here. Like I say these guys, Tyrell's been riding them. They started these colts and then getting real use on the ranch, doing a real deal. I've just been rode around and around inside pen, but these horses have been out crushing rock and turning out granite calves. So bridle's good. Good top on him. He like I say he does have some superficial little stuff on his one hind leg and a little thing on his right front and it's still on the bridge of his nose. He got the road grass there and he's missing two upper incisors so if you're buying over the phone you need to make note of that nice colt and thank you tyrell appreciate the consignment from the step they brought us some good horses two years ago and known those people for a long time and breeders a good horse and good cattle and good horsemen all right are we on lot 36 or is that i already losing track of myself here is 36 here? That's my brother's horse. See? Casey had to go back and help me roll five calves that went back last night, so he's probably getting some yesterday's work done in the ass. But he'll be here with lot 36 after this. We've got lot number set 37. Chance and Nikki Millen's gray guild and a four year old gray guild in here. Pretty gray horse here, guys. He's got the FG iron on him. He's by that son of play gun down there. Uh, he just didn't get papered. Uh, this horse is a pretty horse. Got the top on him and a big hip and good set of withers. Good foot on him here. Okay. Nikki's ambidextrous. She can go both ways, so. Good dark foot on him here. And a little wiggly on that, but I'm, I'm guessing Chance has been the one chewing this horse. Okay. Yeah, good to chew. He's just a cold still, but. Awesome. He kind of want to wiggle off of that a little bit. And, uh, you can chew in, but this horse is probably going to need somebody that knows what they're doing when they do it. Going in maybe a second set of shoes. We'll look at his teeth. He mounts good. Everything's right there. Nikki, Nikki said they floated him and did a terrible job on him in February since they had a current down job and she's going to bridle him with this uh, shank snap we'll get another hide in the wind. Guys, handsome horse here. Like say, this horse is four, but same deal. He's stout now, but when you see this horse when he's six or seven, he is going to be stout. Short back, good withers, long underline. Strong hip all the way to the ground. Good hawk. Uh, this horse really put up right. And 
they've been ranching on him all this spring. Nicky he apologized that he was a little green still. Uh, but they, they, if you come to get a good young colt that's been in good hands and good video of him already posted, doing a little roping on him and doing the whole deal on him. But thank you to the Millens. It's been excellent. Consigners always bring us good horses and to get the honest and done an excellent job with this colt. All right, we've got lot number 38, D. Hancock, and signed by Paul Padilla. Guys, this horse is a, he's a 15-year-old guild, and he's a 2005. Paul called me last winter and asked about this horse, said he ran rodeoed on him all last year, and uh, good horse, they love him. Uh, and I just told, I told him, I said, the older guild market, you know, you don't always know, but he said, he said, oh, bringing this horse up there to sell him, and I think he's got a lot of life in him still. The horse is sound. Go ahead, Paul. Get on his feet here, picking up all four feet. So we'll spend shot more in the time or two. So good to see you. Get on his feet. We're going to look at his teeth real quick, Paul. Mouth's good. Everything's excellent there. Yep, real good. Hope got a nice, happy bridle here. We're going to bridle this horse up. Uh, anyhow, look forward to watching Paul show him. Lots of video of him, Brandon, yeah, big cattle, doing the whole deal on him. Bridle's easy. I don't, Paul, I don't see any really anything sticking out. He's got a, maybe a little bit of a scar on the right hind there above the white there, and it's just superficial. Uh, I don't, I don't see a mark on this horse, so I just, I, maybe a little bit on that right hind where he's maybe gained something, but the horse ran sound on it, and it, it, what, it, what it is, you can't hardly see. A tick full, maybe just a tick full in that cannon. Paul, thank you for this good consignment. Like I say, he rodeoed on him all last year. Uh, horse he got from his neighbors, but if he came for an older horse, he's been there, done that. You want to pay attention to that about 30 days. Okay, we have Jerry O'Connor here with this gilding lot number 39, Slick Sugar Baby. He's a 2009 Cousin Bay Roan gilding. I almost call him a blue gilding. He almost blue, yeah. Jerry, go ahead and trot him down. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, I've known Jerry, I don't know, I'm probably eight or nine years old the first time I ever met Jerry. My Uncle Bob used to trade horses with him in and, and Cottonwood there. And I remember Bob would take us over there every time we went to California to see those guys. And Jerry's always dealt in horses and good old cowboy. Uh, he, he'd come up to the sale last year and told me he might put a horse in the sale. And I, I said, that would be good, I'd love to have you. He's had this horse since he was a yearling, Jerry, how long? He, he got him as a two-year-old and started him and sat him the whole time. Uh, so this horse is one he brought along as a colt and put up in the bridle. He told me this morning, he said, Corey, I, I really don't want to sell this horse, but it's just, it's his business and, and, I, and life. And I said, well, I've got one that looks like him that's three and if I didn't have bills to pay too, I probably would not sell him. So, totally understand. This horse, you know, like I say, he, lo he loves him, done everything with him, and sat him from a colt on. And uh, there's not a great video of him. And uh, Jerry, like me, is probably tech, tech challenged a little bit. And he apologized for that. But there's some video of him sorting a gate there, and they sorted 400 pairs. He worked the gate. This horse has been doing a real job. And dang sure the same. Seen real country and rocks and brush and downfall and oak trees and 
the, the whole deal. I, if you don't have him on your list, I would encourage him if you're wanting a good, solid old battle horse that been in good hands and, and is trustworthy. Uh, his horse has a good eye on him. He's quiet. I'd encourage you to take a look at this deal when you Jerry's. He bridles good. He mounts good. He's straight. Good to shoe and a uh, nice start foot on every corner. Pretty set of withers. And uh, Jerry's got his mane clipped up like the old Californias would do and got the bridle horse mark on there. You like to see that old tradition. So, Jerry, thank you. We bought a, a stud horse that we called him, we actually called him Connor. He was a son of. Mr. Colonel Barr out of its planner text daughter we bought from Jerry 10 years. It's fifth house been on that 20 years ago, maybe, but got a lot of good ones yeah. out of that horse. Jaime Gonzalez here with his good gilding. This is lot number three. Lot 40. Go ahead and trot him straight down, Jaime. Go ahead and come back, Jaime. Guys, Jaime, uh, I've known him for last year. He'd come and introduce himself and ran around. Good good horseman, good cowboy. First consignment here and uh, brought us a good gilding. We appreciate his consignment. This horse probably toes in a tick on the left front. Uh, when you stand him still, he's, you don't really see it. When he travels, he probably... But he doesn't interfere. Uh, good round dark foot on him. Let's go ahead and pick up his foot. Pick up his feet. Uh, yeah, right off the bat, Jaime sent me a whole bunch of pictures, a whole bunch of video. You always get people that call and want want to. Uh, he's going to go the extra mile here and show you how to put his foot up on a stand. You don't need to stand to hold that horse's front foot up. Uh, Anyhow, like I say, I always get calls and, oh, we got a really great horse, and then you can't get a video, you can't get pictures, and shoot, he had everything on him. Uh, this horse, too, I've told people, if you don't have him marked, you need to get a, put a star by him and make sure you visit with him. This is an awful nice horse. He's well-bred, he's a product of good breeding, and, and then in good hands here. Really good on his feet. He's, Over and above on the feet. Horse excellent to shoot. We're going to look at his feet there real quick. The mouth's good. You know, he's letting me fumble around here with one hand and not do this right. And he's letting me look at his feet. Everything's there. I'm just going to bridle him. Um, same deal here. These guys are doing a real job taking lot, care of lots of cattle and rugged country over there. This horse, you know, shallow water, deep water, rocks, downfall, brush. He's been there, done it. Good video of him sorting pairs through the gate there. This horse is, you know, going to put his head down and, you know, rein around. But if you don't want to rein him around, he's going to watch the cow for you anyhow. Good gilding and appreciate the excellent consignment. I mean, everything's in order here. And, uh, One of the better gildings in the sale. I appreciate it. Jaime, thank you. Lot 40, make sure you go watch his video. He's got a lot of video of this horse. Okay, we have Jarrett Dolman here with Lot 41. This is Al. We've got another horse here that is papered. Jarrett graduated from high school this spring and got distracted and didn't get his papers sent in when he consigned. He is a registered horse. He, uh, John Opie's his breeder. The horse is papered. Uh, straight away here, he trots up straight and good. Let's look at his teeth real quick. Yeah. Teeth are excellent. Everything's there in an order. I'll hold this for Jarrett. Hey, Jared, come over here and help me oh, a little bit here a few weeks ago and just good help. Good fine young man here uh, doing a good job with these horses and hard worker. Uh, he's getting ready to go on a mission here this summer and this horse is 
you know, a year ago, he came and asked me if he could consign this Gildan to the sale almost a full year ago at the ranch rodeo and you know, so it hasn't been an afterthought that the horse is in the sale he's been working on him and preparing him for this and a little mission fun going on here uh good video of him they posted just the other day but these boys roping on him picture of him picking apples out of the tree or something there on him i was at apples at juniper berries standing up in the saddle uh big old bouncy ball and him out and bouncing that ball under him and on his back and horse stood there and took it. So Jared's had him here helping me and uh, you know just doing it, doing a real job on him. Brandon Cabs tying off to him and uh, the real deal. He called me two days ago and said he didn't like dragging that log and he was a little worried about that. And I told him don't worry about that. I said there's plenty of these that. I've had lots of cattle roped on them, and for whatever reason, they don't like that dead thing moving. And I said, "Don't. It isn't the end of the world if he doesn't drag the log." But excellent gilding here. This horse got a pretty top on him, good foot, and I uh, appreciate Jared, Jared's consignment. Thank you. Lot 41, and he is registered. If you don't want a grade horse and you're worried about that, he is papered. He comes with HQHA papers that are transferable to your name. All right, we've got. My nephew Zane with lot number five. We're backing up a couple in the book here. Go ahead and trot him straight down, Zane. Okay, he's got this is Boone Carter's consignment. Casey bred this horse, and Boone's had him since he was a year and a two year old. Go ahead and bring him right back, Zaner. Horse trots up good. A lot of video of this horse. Boone's put some kind of equitation training on him. And those guys run a lot of cattle over there in eastern Idaho. And this horse been out in the hills and doing it. Casey's had him here for about a week riding him. Go ahead and pick up his feet, Zayner. Good round foot on this horse. Good black foot and my I'm guessing he probably had his feet trimmed three or four times as a weanling. I know Casey does a really good job with those babies, and they don't they don't wait till they're too big to do it to do it. This horse had good good handling on his feet. Good on the feet here. I'm gonna have Zane show me his teeth here. Mouth's good, everything's good there. He might be just a half, barely half over. He's not fair at mouth, but he's probably just a tick over. But everything's right there. Okay, go ahead and ride him. Uh, yeah, Boone consigned this horse, and then he, I think he talked to his wife, found out there was an in law family reunion somewhere he was supposed to be at. So we missed Boone today, but. Uh, he sent this good gild, gild and they've been riding there on the ranch there and Glassfoot and a lot of video here too and if you get Boone on the phone I will tell you the truth about him too if you need any more information you could sure call Boone and get this straight up. This horse has it and I think Boone disclosed it in the video. On his left front he's got a wire scar. Um, it's not in the hoof at all but he does have a, a wire scar on that left front. Zane. Bridling him up in this full half, breathing. And of course, he's letting him mouth. Curb shop was a little tight and kind of hung up there on his lower lip, and he's just taking it good. So, I watched Shane lope this horse around here two nights ago. This horse runs up and down the pen and stops a little, got to turn around, and he's a pretty galloper. He's got a real pretty reach and go about him, pretty top on him. This horse's mother was a big, pretty mare, and uh. Really bet true to uh, to her. He looks a lot like his mother, but uh, nice gilding here, uh, bred by the Casey and Tristan Shellman and consigned by them and Lori Carter. Thank, thank you. Okay, we've got Casey here with their other horse. Like I say, he was he was roping calves about eight o'clock last night with me, and I 
they had some work they didn't get done at home after they went here earlier. Uh, lot 36 here. This is a uh, going back to 36. Moccasin's feather. He's a Choctaw out of their old mare, Moccasin. She was a big stout mare. She had a lot of go. But, uh, this colt's a lot like his mother. Casey's been riding him there on the ram. Teeth are good. Everything looks good there. I don't see a mark on him, really. Is this his second set of shoes? I watched Casey put these shoes on him here the other day, and that's the second set, and he, he wouldn't have known it was only shot twice. Like I said, he's, he, he does a lot better job than I do. We did ours to him about once before as a year and turned out and i know these colts have two or three chimmins on them before they ever let him go with your of course good on his feet good, good top on him good heart girth casey's just been making miles on him turning cattle out and doing it he brought him over here and loped him around two nights ago just to get him used to this place and this horse run him in then run down and hit the ground and you know put little three foot elevens uh, he can stop. He wants to hold his nose a little bit high, but he just rides him in a smooth snaffle pit, and it's getting better. It's not like he's had the, the draw range or the surf singles out trying to get his head down. This this horse hits the ground easy. He's a pretty loper, and I, I know he can run and stop. I watched him here just a little bit hit the ground and do it right. Uh, good back on him, and uh, good heart girth. This horse has had some calves branded on him. He's going to be stout on the end of the rope. And, like, and got some speed if you want a breakaway horse or something that is going to run the cattle and barrels, anything like that. That mother, his mother could run. I was really stout too. They, Casey roped a rope and steer at the team ran in there a few years ago that when they couldn't get calves for the brand and they had some about 800 pound used rope and steers. And, that man dropped one of those steers about 30 feet across that pan, just like it was nothing. But uh, this is a good colt. If he came for one that needs some more training, but it's hasn't been in good hands, he's a good horse, lot 36. Guys are good. Brian and Jenna Grink, he's good, lot 42 here. Good Greg Gilden. Uh, Grink, he's a good horseman and good cattleman. They run cattle there at the ballet and committees there. First time consignment here. We appreciate the consignment. Uh, Jenna's above and beyond on the promotion on this horse and got a good video of him up a long time ago. A son of PG Dry Fire uh, and very heralded horse in the business and cow horse and particularly in the barrel horses now. Good on his feet, stands here like a soldier, not flinching a bit. Mouth's good, everything's just right there. This horse is just fine, is that right? He's eight, my bad. Eight year old, got a pretty mouth on him. And, and uh, Brian's going to have three bridle here. They're riding him in. I'm going to bid him up here. You guys, those play guns are pretty horses. You know, this horse, the same the product of good breed. And pretty, pretty withers on him. Good neck, clean throat latch. Pinch is deep. Good stout hip on him. This is not a great big horse, but he's really strong, and uh, he's put up in all the right places to, to do a real job. But lots of video of him. If you haven't watched it already, you can get a whole lot more about him. But thank you to the Grankies for an excellent consignment. Pretty gray Gilden. If he came for a gray one, he could be as good a gray horse as we've got in the sale. All right. You guys, we've got lot number 40. What button is he? 40, 43, he follows in order. 
Guys, this is a wild horse here. I brought a few of these home a couple winters ago, and my wife was not very happy with me and said, what's wrong with you? So anyhow, uh, we started this horse last summer. He started easy. He's been good to get around. This is the first time he's been out in front of people. And let me hold you, Brian. Right I don't, David's never picked his feet up, and my brother shot him the other day. There you go. Guys, I'd like to say this horse is a product of good breeding, but we, we know what that program is. But he, he's actually been good here. He's a little booger eyed here today uh, with the sound system banging around and stuff. And he's honestly not been hard to drive or anything, but he's, he's kind of showing his worst here today. David's getting the ride on in here. There you go, watch him back. Yeah, don't let him leave with that. Buckle that around his neck before you take it off. Buckle the halter around his neck. He's got that old scar on there. I don't know, I guess a stud horse or something got a hold of him as a colt. When I picked some of the, there were two of them there, and I don't know, there were probably two couple hundred other horses running around there in that big pen, and he came right out of the bunch. I was standing looking at something else, and he come up, put his nose on me from behind, and... I liked him, and then I saw that scar on him and brought him home anyhow. But if you, this horse hasn't had any buck in him, we've been riding him around. Go ahead and lead him out. And uh, if you want something here that's not going to break the bank, he's just three. Casey shot him in about 20 minutes. He is a good horse, sure, but we didn't have to sedate him or anything. I judge a few, just two or three cat milk cow calves around here, and then open him around the place here. All right, we've got Danny Moore here. Guys, we've got lot 44 here from Dan Moore, there at the Moore Ranch in Jordan Valley. Same deal here, another one of those older Gildens that, uh, you know, honestly, the kind everybody can use one that won't steady around like this. Dan's dad is in his 80s, and Dan said he wasn't real happy with him when he told him this horse was in the sale. Um, this horse toes in a little bit in the front, but he's he sounds, he lands right, and he, he got a couple little, Dan put him in with a couple other horses at Gildens there he hadn't been with, he made, and he's got two dings, fresh dings and some bites on his, there night for the sale, and fortune. he's guaranteed sound, no issues, um, let's look at his teeth, Dan. Everything's there. This horse's teeth line up right. You want to bridle him? Danny's going to bridle him. Horse. Awesome. 
I just took his whole to off there and threw it down. New place here today. You don't always do that and hang on to your horse. So this is a good old saying here. Dan said, anybody that comes to the ranch, it's new. They put them on him. And this horse has been roped on out of the box. It had lots of miles outside. Ran lots and lots of calves. So hard kind to find. Roped horses on him the whole deal. You came for this good old buckskin guild and make sure you get with Danny. Uh, they raised him up from a colt and he's the whole, whole deal there. Uh, Dan has got an eye for good horses. They raised some horses there and have for a long, long time. And say I heard some I was at Dan's in the in his dining room there in the in the hutch at, at an HHA World Champions trophy and I, I asked Danny about that, and anyhow, Dan, Danny will champion and team roped in Oklahoma City there, the horse he showed and trained there, so these guys know good horses, they, they bred them and made them and raised them, raised them and trained them and uh, run a good herd of cows there and the cow-calf deal there in Jordan and a good old ranch and family, we appreciate very much the consignment from, from Moore's. He does have a couple little fresh little skin marks there, long way from his heart, but he he's bring that to my attention when I look at that. Okay, we've got lot number 57. 50, five, five, seven. 57. All right. 57. This is my dad's Roan Guild in case he's been riding him around here. He's out of my dad's chicks, renegade mare. Good moving colt here. He's awake and paying attention to things, but it's been in good hands. Mark Mastery started him. He's got a pretty good scar on his left front, on that left front knee that comes around. It's superficial, but he's dang sure if you're not here and you're looking at him, he does have a, a, a pretty good scar on that on that left front. <laughs> Guys, this isn't always the Best place, I guess. Sometimes I maintain that we spent some time here doing all this, and sometimes these horses haven't been to town. You're going to see them at their worst, honestly, here today. At times, these colts looked around and all these people and everything else, and they haven't heard a loudspeaker before. So, uh, this colt's taking it really good. He's standing up here, right in case he pick up his feet, and uh, he's going to bridle in here. Look at his teeth. Everything. He's shedding some center caps. He's just a two-year-old, but they're they're all, everything sound to come in there. But he does have some baby teeth coming out. I guess he got a little damage to one baby tooth. Yeah. He's got. He does one cap on the upper that is shedding, but had a little break in it. Sometimes those come in funny last, but it not there's nothing sore or, or infected or anything. <clears throat> we had one here a couple of years ago. I'll, I'll tell one on Raleigh, but the same deal for itself. Sift and he had one that was a little got out here, snapped a bit hard, so it got a little funny to bridle him. Anyhow, a little bit later he came back. He got it on him, but he came back. He said, "I'm sifting that horse today, so I don't, I don't want to deal with somebody have to deal with that." And you don't always know. I like, say, first time somebody had a little issue here with a cold or something. But this horse, horse stood here, took it. I, he he hauled him over here yesterday, two days ago, and rode him around with no one here. Here with the crowd today and this loud, this loudspeaker rattling. He's taking it well, but this is going to be a stand-up colt. Good moving colt and lots of potential any performance event you want to do. 
Are we getting close? Zane's got, you got the supplement there, Zane. Are we, where are we at in the order? 45. 45. Okay, I got off track. Lot 45. Lot 45 bit of shiny. It's a 2017 red roam gilding uh, by the Stepler's Stylish Oak, uh, Pepco Stylish Oak. It's had a nice horse that they showed the cow horse and some earnings on and have raised a lot of good ones out of. Guys, this horse is he toes in quite a bit on the right, left front, lands to the outside on it, especially. The right front's not as bad, but if you're buying over the phone or you're interested in him, you do need to look at it. He's he sound on it today, um, but he it is a confirmation fault. He toes in on that left front. This horse, uh, lots of video on him too. Good in the Brandon chat, moving around, just sorting bulls out on him. Uh, Nicole rides him up and gets the mail out of the mailbox. You throw him on the side of the trailer. Nice guild in here and uh, moves around good and well started. Good on his feet here. Picks his feet up good. Look at his feet. Everything's good there. Yeah. Feet are good. <clears throat> Same deal here. He's totally unaltered here. As soon as I said it, he made a little French, but he, he's this horse is sensible. This is a nice, nice roan deal then for his age and very well started and, and uh, riding really good, doing a real job already. Low headed, low hawk. Bridles up good. Good, good. Nicole said, or Jason said he's been his wife's horse. Nicole's been riding him, so. Um, same deal, these guys raised a lot of horses and raised a lot of horses. I called them. And, uh, they brought a good horse here two years ago. A brother of this horse was sold well and, and people liked it that received it and I solicited their business this thing. And I called today, we'd like to get some gildens over here. And Jason called back and said, We'll bring a couple down. And uh, so we appreciate the, the business, the opportunity to sell one. Nice gildens, good video on him. Same deal, they had that video up. 60 days ago on the gilding and they weren't waiting around to get him built and get that video up. So, good gilding and thank you to the staff. But we've got Billy Ward here with the shank for another one of Peggy Davis's. We've got Hank Gilding here. What number is he, Billy? About 46. Okay, go ahead and trot him down, Billy. Big hip horse here. Great big stout rascal. Trots up good. Come straight away, good there. I don't see any marks on him. Does really, he got a? He's got a right splint on his left front, and he's okay. He's got a big hawk on the left hind. I don't know if he got kicked in the trailer or what. The hair's on it, but he does have a big hawk. And uh, we'll watch that this here the next few days. And uh, if you are interested in him, you need to come look at it. He does have some swelling in the hawk that wasn't there, but he got banged on that. It got an old spin on the left front that's not a that's the superficial and he sound on it. Bridle's easy. Billy's gonna let me look at his feet. Mouth's good, that new mouth and good there. Everything's right, yep. Billy's been riding this horse for Peggy, and Billy said he's gentle, but he does have a big motor. And so, you know, those kind of horses, you need to give him a job, and he hasn't done anything bad, but he does have a big motor and takes some rides. Big, handsome, black and white paint, gilding, square on each corner, and got a big old round hip, and they've been doing a real job on him. 
but he is gentle, but he does have a big motor. Peggy, thank you. Very good deal, then. All right, we've got lot number 47 might be, I don't know, are you 48? Lot 48 here, 47 is a scratch, he's not here. 48, Sam is a great gilder. Guys, Justin got this horse from uh, these folks here a couple months ago, and, and he called me here a couple weeks ago and said, hey, this horse is, is not quite as gentle as I thought it was, it was when I got in, but he's not thank you, but he said, thanks for needing some more ride. And he made a good video of him, and you see him rope the cap and run around, run rope clear up into the skirts of the saddle and clear around, and it's good cowboy here. He just kind of got through it, but and the horse didn't blow up, but he, he's not by any means in the bridle or finished. Uh, they've been doing a real job on him. Until he rode down the venture, been making some wet saddle blankets on him. Uh, done everything on him and going right along, getting along good with him, but he said he didn't want an inexperienced rider buying this horse. Picks up his feet good. Justin said he he's just about a half over. I wouldn't call him pet mouth, but he's a He's about a half a tooth over on the front. He's got, he's got kind of, a couple of weeks ago, he did something right behind that right knee, and there's a, a bit of a scab and kind of thing. has that name on it. Right in this little Lucien King's court bridle. Um, you know, this horse probably, you know, for some people, better in the snap a bit, but he's, he's riding in the Rome Mount range of neck, and he sure enough don't put even a shank bit on one that is kind of ready. So he's been riding in this in sport, uh, making lots of miles and buying lots of calves on him. So, yeah. Big circle horse and big motor. If he got some rocks to crush, and only go, he's going to get you there. Justin, thank you. I gotta leave this for the old crypt. Okay, guy. yeah. <laughs> Lot number 49. We've got David Marcus Shanahan's own guild in here. Tom O'Malley said he had to read him for the old guy, so. Gonna go ahead and pick up his feet here. Um, I'll hold this right in front. Big stout roan horse here, guys. That Shanahan's have had uh, ranching on doing the whole deal. This horse has some splints, some old splints on both fronts. His right knee. It's got a little fullness in it. I don't, it's not rough, but it's just, if you look at him straight ahead, he's got some fullness in that, that right knee. Good on his feet here. Picked his feet up good. Sharon has old ranching family and old horsemen and dead horses for years. And, and 
first time they brought a horse here on say son had brought us a really good day horse a couple years ago that most folks in montana just love and so i said i'll kind of get this roan gills in here $2.60. Big stout horse. I just put my hand up to him, but that rascal stands up there. I, he's all a 16 hand. Bridles up easy here. He's putting the bit on him. Mouth's good, easy, good old soul here, just letting me reach down there and pull that lip back and he don't flinch at all. So, good old Gildan, we appreciate Dave Martha bringing this big stout Gildan. They've had him since he was a young horse and been doing the whole deal on it. I'd say he's got a, maybe just a little fullness in that right front knee, but it's not, there's no rough stuff or anything on it. Of course, moved off here. Appreciate the consignment, Dave. They're going to show him a little rest of the truck to reel here today. Big stout horse. If you came for a horse that's been getting used doing the real ranch work, dragon calves being used out in that big country, water, and the whole deal. Big nice building. About 49. Where are we at on the good Jake and Gary this time? As we got Jake here with his Gildan Oak Driftwood. Oh, oops, that's uh, this is Mama's little cat. Slot 50. Hey, Jake helped me all last summer and in some this winter and good help. This fine young man. He, he'd use this horse and pack him a little last fall and then just started him kind of this winter. Uh, and this horse, I watched him, you know, going right after stuff. Good, good disposition to horse. Sensitive and got some life, but real sensible and uh, athletic horse. Jake Dizel Connors and over there in Central Idaho in the fall and it was quite a good picture of him packing on him and said he's had a this is the second and third set of shoes he's had on him, but uh, good round black foot on this horse. Bridal's good. We're going to look at his teeth here. Okay. Yeah, I'll just hold on. Just hold on. Okay. He's got a little, little kind of a chip in the front incisor. I, it's not sore or anything, but just, it's kind of almost superficial. But he does have a little chip in the center front incisor. Not a great big deal, but it is there. If you're flying over the phone or something, that horse does have that little line. It's nice young gild in here. Just had, you know, honestly, just the last few months he's been riding him steady. And uh, so just started coming along. Good video of him. And Jake put up on him and uh, came to get a good young prospect. This is it's a good gild. Jake, thank you for the consignment.
You went too far. We're just 10 miles out. Yeah. On the north side, George. Yeah. On the north side. So if you turn around and go back to town, we're on the right hand side. Yeah, you'll see a big park play game with the fat ball on it. Okay, very good. <laughs> I got stuck multitasking there. I had a guy that drove all the way from Texas. Drove by here and said, I can't find you. I'm on Highway 20 and came out and can't see you. I said, you're real close. So This horse, Thomas Wilson's good consignment, lot 51. He's got a scar on that right hind, on that right hind ankle. Uh, it's, it's just a superficial thing, but there's some hair that hasn't grown on it, and it, it's sure enough there. Never been laying on it. Thomas been using this horse at Van Sign Ranch. Those guys run about four or five thousand head of cows over there in Utah and rough country, and this horse been doing a real job over there. So I appreciate the consignment from Thomas. He, Thomas worked for me when he was in high school and kid learning and did excellent help and great young man. Mouth's good. Everything looks right there. I don't he's got a little hinge, uh, a little correction, a little shank correction that he said he's owed him and just kind of outside making miles and a half. Reading. If that roller right, you know, with the roller in it. Um, good day to him, Brandon Cabs on him doing the deal. Thomas going to pick up the speed here. Picking up all four feet here, get on his feet. If the, like Thomas said, he just got the one scar. Got a couple little marks on his withers from real use, hair to over. Uh, good smooth withered horse, good tension horse, good neck and top on him. Got a good square foot on him all the way around. Thomas, thank you for the good ranch assignment. Uh, I'd say this horse has been doing a real job over there. She's got some miles to make, and the horse has been doing everything you got to do on the ranch he has. Because we've got 52, he's a firewater rebel who's Jody and Chaylene Cooper's. Uh, Len Babb called me about wanting to consign this horse, and, and uh, and he bought me a horse last year. I was told him I could anyhow, and then I realized it was Cooper's horse after the fact. Uh, this horse has some pretty big uh, knots on both front legs. He's got uh, some wind puffs on the inside and out on the left front, and some some uh, old splints. Right, the splints I, are not a concern. I don't know. Yeah, he said he's never been false on it, but he does have some big old puffy wind puffs on either side. And if that's something that concerns you, they said he's been sound, but this horse, these horses have not been vet checked, and I'm guessing he has not. So he, he's been fine on it. He does have some blemishes on that, and he does have some wind puffs on that ankle on the left. I don't worry about the splint so much. The wind puffs... Uh, might be superficial as well. They said they have had no issues with him, his soundness. But if it concerns you and you and you are, you need to be aware of that. You need to look at it if it's here to buy this horse. Pick up his. I'm gonna pick up his feet here. Thank you. 
Good to pick his feet up here. Horse Bucks and stand that out behind him on it there. Pretty buckskin horse here. He's got a little roam throughout him. Kind of unique colored horse. Mount's good. Everything's there. He might be a half over, but I wouldn't call him. He's not there at Mount, but he's probably just a kick over on the top. Okay. Said he's just about in the last three, four months that they've been uh, the bridle on him. Um, the bridle's one of those things, you know, just because somebody's riding them around in the bit doesn't mean they're in the bridle. And so, and one guy's definition of in the bridle is quite a bit different than someone else's. Uh, and so they've been using this horse on the ranch. He's mounting it good. We're going to get to see him go and do it. Um, we have had problems with that in the past. That guy buy one say, I've been riding this in the bridle. I got home, man, put a bridle on it, that didn't work, you know, and so, uh, like I say, and some guys can ride a horse in a stiffer bit, and they're better hands than others, but just because one's wearing it doesn't mean necessarily in the bridle, so you need to ask if you want to know how long have you been riding in it, do you have to split your reins, or can you not rein him around, this horse, they've been using him on the ranch, we're going to get to see him go in it. I appreciate him telling me that, that we just barely, you know, had it on him just in the last little bit. Good guild in here, but I well, was on my mind, I was going to talk about it, because it's different with everybody. Thank you. Five years old. 53A, guys, it's Ray Gilvin here, my brother. This horse is five. This horse had some sarcoids on his ears and stuff when he was a colt. They're gone now, but they spent about two years working on getting those off of him, and so I didn't ride him much. I've seen Casey brand calves on this horse a couple times, and got along good and he had been just I, that might have been the first time the one I saw and he wasn't having any trouble and he is a good hand with a green horse I'd say get around one that hasn't been all time mouth's good Zane rode him around here the other night got a bunch of circle going pretty loafing horse here uh yeah we could ride it in first everyone he's wanting to stay in order case gonna pick up the speed <laughs> Good to have his feet handled. You're not going to have to get the twitch out to get the feet up on this horse. Good there. You can see this right behind his left ear. There's some white hair there and a little bit of bare skin. There's no scar quite there, but that's the scar from where it was. And it is gone, but he's got a little mark from that. Good about his feet. Good. His teeth are good. He's going to bridle in here. The case has a full sister to this horse that they all ride, and she's a good rope horse, good to get along. This horse, if you don't want to break the bank here and come to get a good prospect that's old enough to actually go home and take an all-day ride. Yeah, he's got no vices. Casey said he's not wrong. He's not hard to catch. He's not silly. He just needs somebody to keep at it. So they got a lot of young horses at home. This horse kind of slipped through the cracks with that sore that he had on his head on the left side there. It has healed up. But uh, if you got somebody at home, he's going to compete in the brand or in the calf brand, and he'll rope the calf on the calf brand. So good yield in here. He's, he's not very tall. He's sinking deep, big hips, good withers. You're not going to have to cut him in two to keep your saddle on him. He's been... Turning out cab line, man, cab going to LA. 53A, he's a supplement. If you don't have the supplement sheet, you can go to the over there to the office and get a supplement. All right, we've got Becky Hawkins here. The C54, Becky. Okay. 
Guys, Becky has got this killed in here, lot 54. I, I'll get, I'll tell a little funny on Becky here. She came, I guess, two years ago to this horse, and it was in December. Uh, if anybody want you to buy, send somebody to buy one, send this lady. She knows how to put it on you. She, I got down and priced him, and and she came around, and made me an offer, just looked right at me and said. I know what you want for him. This is what I've got. <laughs> and uh, just cut right to the chase. And uh, wasn't honoring about it at all, but uh, it was right there before Christmas time. And I thought, well, Santa Claus got to come still. So we sold this guild in. And I thank you for bringing him back, Becky. She's done a good job with him. Uh, guys, He, I think we had about 100 rides on him. Honestly, probably not that many, 60. He was loping around, didn't turn around. Um, but I told Becky, you know what he was. She took him home and kept right on with him. I've got a full brother to him that's eight years old that we've got here that's a nice horse. And I won the ranch horse class on at the fair with last year. I think this horse is honestly a better horse. He had a big bushy full tail, and I, I'm guessing if you wanted to grow that out, there's, there's tail there to grow horse has been on the ranch and probably fought in a few flies, but she's got him in good shape here. He's got some marks on his back. He's been sure been ridden and ridden right since he left here. Uh, she's got a good video of this horse uh, doing everything on him, crossing water, random calves. She sent her picture in early and he's pretty he's fuzzy and he's filled out a bunch, so she He's probably been asleep in the catalog, and I told a lot of people, if you don't have him circled, you need to. Um, anyhow, I, like I say, I like this horse as a colt, and I honestly probably wouldn't have sold him then, but I, like I say, it was that time of year, and uh, a lot of horses in the trail, and I was hung out a little bit about selling him, and my wife said, you got four or five behind him, you're not right. Let's sell this horse to this lady. So thank you, Becky, for done a good job with him and thank you if you came for a nice young deal then this is a good horse a really good horse and she's done on an excellent job with him and kept him coming but lots of potential on the upside there that horse another two three years in the dry will is going to be a sales offer somewhat if you go along and do that all right we've got wyatt clark here uh you want to lead her up Wyatt. lot 55 Guys, well, I think Wyatt called me in January about this consigning this mare and told me got her. He's on the tree camp ranch crew there, and those guys take care of lots and lots of cattle. And he was got riding this mare to rider and reseller and told me exactly what she was. Uh, she's a great mare. She's got her uh, teeth good. Everything's right there. Anyhow, I, I think he was the first guy to send his stuff in a manner, got right on it and sent a video of her. Um, I've said this before, a lot of people right now go, they're spooked over this horse market, don't know where they should come, if they can even afford a horse. And, you know, this is a good marriage. She's not going to break the bank to own her. If you've got some work to do, and some rocks to crush, she's been in good hands. And like Wyatt said, she's channel. He did say he wouldn't just put any little bitty kid or green rider on it, but she does have some get up and go, but she's good to shoot, good to catch. He's going to bridle her here. Lots of video of her. I'd say he got his video up early. It wasn't laying around trying to wonder where the video was. He, there's a video you can watch of this man. On this one or the other one. She's got a little ding, or something in the rock pile there uh, on that right ink, uh, cannon banging away in the rocks after something getting away. But she sound on it. There's not any good uh, foot on every corner. She does have that little superficial ding on that right hind leg on the cannon. Wyatt, thank you for the consignment. Appreciate Wyatt. Get with him, talk to him. Good cowboy, good family man, great kid, and 
but then you'll get the straight up on that mare, exactly what she is, and, and whether she'll fit you or not. If you go talk to White and Andrea, they're good people, and they'll give you straight up that representation. So, guys, we got Jeff Corbin here. He's got this wrong filly. I, I think this boy would maybe, I would, he wasn't the second consigner, he was right there. Uh, he got right on it and he called me and he sent me videos and all kinds of stuff and was just all over getting ready to do this if you haven't watched his video you need to i don't this boy saddled this mare in a snowstorm and videoed her and galloping around there roping cattle and doing everything uh same deal no waiting around to get the horse broke to ride uh this mare's been in good hands this boy's done a fine job with her First time consignment here, and I, I've never met Zeb, but I'd say in no time at all, he had me videos of her and exactly what was going on. And I, you can just tell from the video, he's a good, you know, up and coming horseman and started one right. So I appreciate his consignment. He's come down here from Malawa, but there's some video of him crossing a kind of bridge without rails on it, like an old railroad trestle or something. And, pretty long ways down to the bottom and uh, you know uh, you don't ride across that kind of stuff unless you know what your arm's going to go across but this was exposed it's not done a good job with it she's got some baby teeth chained in she's just a two-year-old but right there uh she, everything looks right there you want to drive them now Guys, this mare is an appendix registered. She's got an X on her paper. She has HHA papers, but they're appendix. Uh, by a son of highbrow cat, I think. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. 58. Uh, let me look at her papers again. Yeah, she's got some old, you know, some old Hancock and Buck Pack and Water Power, some of them. There's some runners on the bottom side, but. She's out of a good daughter, good son of highbrow cat out of a playboy daughter, uh, right back there in Nebraska. But this man's got a deep heart girth, a pretty pretty set of withers, short back on her long hip. And uh, I've said it before, these these two year old fillies are you know just like just like the girls are when they're, you see them when they're ten, and you know a few years later they don't they change a lot. This man's gonna this man's really gonna fill out, and uh, when she's Five, six years old is going to be a big roomy mare with a lot of style and dimension. So he came for one and maybe didn't have a Philly mark. She's very well started and been done right. Zeb, thank you. Are we about out of horses to be true? I've got four yearling colts of my own over there, and with all the running and going both ways today, we're not going to leave those colts out of mine this morning. We've been catching them, and they are. Uh, Leading, but we're gonna. If you want to see them, those yearlings are back in the back. Come get with me, and I tried to go show them before those yearlings. Uh, Casey, does, does Casey have his yearling folks here? My brother Casey, Casey's coming with his. He's coming. Chase, do you want to just come with them out here? We will get those of mine out tomorrow and get them around here and we'll try not to get them. Really, 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 really. You came to look at any of those four of you on tomorrow. Welcome to come back there by tomorrow and get a look at them. Or else you just come in here with Just come on in, Zainer. You see, they've got these coats branded just here in the last few days. Lot 65 and lot 67. 65, Sorrel Philly. She's a lot 65. She's by out of cases. Old uh, Tita Mare, Old Bella Mare. It's been a good old mare. Uh, she, I think, had one and she opened about 25 or 6,000 that red block. But 67. Uh, will be a gambler out of Casey's old casino checks. Now that's a big, pretty colt there, handsome colt. 
he won the fence work at Elko and we got all around a bunch of those on his mother. Uh, Kristen's got luck. Uh, that's my niece, Shelby. Uh, Shelby's got lot 62. That's a bay, Colt Bay Guild in there. And is he by Patriot, Casey? Yeah. But 62. And out of that old uh, Sandra, now I started his mother a long time ago for Sandra Carlin. Now that was easy to start. And I got some good ones out of her. But he's by his Patriot, stud by our old Clay Gun stud. That's going to be a big Simpson, big hip Colt. Out of a good mare, going to be really quiet and have some athleticism. Lot 59 is a uh, lot 59 is out of a daughter of Della and out of that page shit horse, too. That colt's a big Simpson colt, going to have a big set of britches on him. Already does, it's been eating long hay and hasn't been pushing any oats at them. Blaze Faith Colt there, lot 59. And is that a Philly chase here? No, that's a guild one too. And lot 64, Kristen has lot 64. Will James last ride out of that old engine now. They've had a lot of good ones out of her. Um, gonna get some size to him. He's already standing up there. But anyhow, he came to get some prospects. I don't just like say this horse feels on the on the move right now. And I don't know if you've got a young kid kids at home you want to get started and get help you know one thing about it, if you get it started with one of these yearlings and you know about october getting them in and go to saddling them and hobbling them and even if you got to pony them around a little bit they don't have to ride them very long you know if you start at them at that side you're not going to hurt them if you saddle them and fool around with them ride them for five minutes and work them for 30 and you don't have to ride them very much and pretty soon you have some stuff going on when it's time to when it's time to get out and go, you know, they're not a big stout four-year-old and you still haven't got his head and got him coming. So anyhow, we're going to, we're going to move on here in just a little bit. Do we have somebody that can run the water truck around this? I think David's going to start the water truck. Can somebody get in that tractor? We need a lot 60. <laughs> Oh, no. oh, yeah. <laughs> Guys, lot 60, that Yerlin, uh that Colt, he is at the Harney County Fairgrounds if you came for him. He's got a knot on his left jaw that just kind of showed up and he does not have a he doesn't have a fever, but he does have and Cole showed me it this morning and said, What do you want to do? <laughs> we don't think it is anything other than maybe banged it, but he's got a pretty good knot there that's and so he we took him to the fairgrounds. He's at the fairgrounds if he came to buy that colt, you can look at him, but we didn't want to put them to compromise the health of other horses at the sale in the case that it was something. I don't think it is. The horse is not running in temperature, but he did have a pretty good knot on that on his lower jaw. So about sixty. Uh, but we appreciate that consignment of a nice cold, beautiful cold well bread, but just in the last little bit that showed up this morning.
But you didn't go on, you haven't made them. <laughs> How are you? Folks, as quick as we get this groundwork, we're gonna we're gonna come through in lot order with this trail class and uh, try and get it along. We've got a lot to do today, and I don't know. We end up I take too long talking. I'm trying not to talk so much to get to it, but we're gonna get two two at a time through here, maybe three at a time through this trail class. Try to get that through kind of briskly, and then we'll, we'll get on to the deal. If you want to enter a doctrine or branding contest, if you're not on the team, you need to get with it. my wife, the sales secretary, and talk to her about that and get that get entered on a three man team. Uh, we're going to feed everybody tonight when we're done with that about six. And uh, Beerman's Ranch needs to come with the tri top, tri tip barbecue meat, and, and my mother in law and my wife, and, and uh, everybody put a big show together and a homemade meal. So if, if you can, don't go to town and buy a steak tonight. You're gonna, there's a female on the house, so if, if you can bear with us, we'd love to feed you tonight too. Tomorrow morning, we're gonna brand a little bunch of calves, and then we're gonna run some yearlings in and do a little yearling roast. And um, I don't know if we have any stock horse entries or not. I need to talk to Jamie Van Bell. I, I think we've got two or three guys that might want to do the stock horse today, and we'll do a little simple rain and pattern, let them work a single cow here today. Uh, we'll do that right after the trail class. Right.
bartender. I think we've got two or three guys that want to do that for sure. We're going to do the stock horse right after the trail class. Then we're going to start a brand and a doctrine contest. Anybody that is on a sale horse and wants on one of those teams, you need to go have and tell us through this trail class to get that done next hour and a half or so, but you need to get on a team. You don't have to enter that contest today. We're going to rope, we're going to branch gap in the morning. We're going to rope some urine after that. Give a guy a chance to work a cow. I feel like you got to enter the stock horse class today. Run straight down there and spin around both ways and turn one. We're glad to have you in the stock horse class today. To go wide open and do that real well, it's probably be better just to show them in the single cow. They're going to get a work out tomorrow. So, uh, without further ado, I think we're, we're pretty close to going right on with our sales class here. I see lot number two here. I don't know if we got lot number one up close anywhere. We have lot one around here. Somebody might. We're going to give him about three minutes here, and we're going to go two minutes and 12, 12. He might be down there loafing around. Thomas Wilson. Is Tyler Woodman? Okay, here's Tyler. Tyler, you... You're the first guy to share uh, We've got lot number one here. Billy Ward's going to shut the gate for us, so uh, Tyler Woodland can ride uh, his guild in here. Classy Tyree, he's a 2013 Carl Gilding. Uh, big stout, big hip, eight inch and nice horse here, and uh, awful good consignment. All trying to find for sale. Uh, Tyler and his family uh, headed to Texas. He got accepted to that King Ranch Institute, that Ranch Management Master's Program. He's done that Crawford Ranch and uh, Ranch Raiser, that good ranch and family and cow people, a good horseman. He's going back to school to get that Master's, and that's a two-year deal down there at Kingsville, at King Ranch. So that's why this horse is for sale, or he probably would not be otherwise. Good at the gate, right over the log, good long reach and trot here. Uh, this horse same deal, I, I keep saying this again and again, a good video of him, he set up, Brandon Cavs on him, working around dry there, uh, handling in the barn. Uh, hard kind to find here. Uh, you know, I guess this horse honestly hasn't been off the ranch a whole bunch, and he, you wouldn't know it here today. He's not bothering a pinch and it's tough. Uh, strikes of the coat, uh, ears up. It, wind was blowing here a little bit last night, and I on, not had the opportunity to meet Tyler in person. And I walked over and asked him if I'd get on that field, and, and uh, he let me get on in here. Of course, lopes around good. He hits the ground easy. Uh, you know, he handles good. I, I honestly, if you want to go home and see Paulus, and he, you know, he, he's got the foundation. If you want to go compete some man for a contest, this horse is riding in the bridle. You know, he's not totally. Uh, you know, gun and stock horse finish ready or something, but he'll watch cow and uh, lighten a bit. Uh, nice, nice man's bridle horse here. Here's us watching this, watching this log, but with all business about it. And uh, I've said this today too. There's going to be some of these horses that have had lots of cattle roped on them, and they absolutely hate that log. If they don't do it today, it isn't the end of the world. But, you know, this horse is doing it great. Um, but there's going to be some that don't like it. Doesn't mean you can't rope on them, but uh, they're just, it's, it's, it's a kick for them. Uh, right to the log here, crossing the bridge. 
We're going to get lot two at the gate to come through an enter, and then Tyler's going to work dry in the center here on lot number one. Jimmy Van Bell up on Rev it up red. Rev it up in red. Number two is going to come through. We're going to try and kind of roll through about two and a half of these horses every minute and a half so we can get through this trail class and get to riding and roping. Guys, lot one, he uh, takes his leads good. This horse lopes around on a loose rein between the bridle reins. He's not splitting his reins. You know, this horse is very cadenced. Lot two, good at the gate, rev it up red. Nice little cadence trot. If you want to go and do some ranch versatility, this horse has got the most. Lot one, the horse went up there, sit, sit down on him, stick his hawk in the ground. And this horse has got him turning around. You know, he's coming around like that for me yesterday, and I just stepped on him. Um, lot two, right over the log. He's headed over there. Lot number two, have it up red at the coat. He's good at the coat. Standing there, loose ring, gears up. All right. Tyler, we'll have you exit on that end, if you don't mind. Guys, watch this horse go. Good, smooth trot on him, smooth load. This horse can travel. They've owned this horse since he was a yearling. He's done all the training on him. Uh, lot number one, big, nice, tight to deal with him, and one of the best in the sale. Lot number two, he's up dragging a log here. As quick as he gets done with the log drag, he's going to call for lot number three. As quick as he drags that log. Ears up here, going right along. I was watching it a little bit, but video of this horse, same deal. Go home and watch the video or get it up on your phone or device right now. You're going to drive a long, long ways to find one this row. Jimmy sent his video in two months ago, and, and he wrote about 1,100 pounds after going wide open out there in a the big field and this horse just stuck a hawk in the ground and steer softer like you see him doing at the horse state of horse and on a heifer that honestly weighed as much as he does uh it's dang close nice horse he's working a cow video of him and his little girl brandon on him um you're gonna you're gonna have a hard time finding a lot of horses like this to say not a thing wrong with him, and been in good hands with him and his program right now. Perfect at the bridge, years up, pretty way of going. We're going to have Wade Black come in on lot number three. Drifter's down and down and down. He's coming through the gate. And uh, good at the gate here. Stepping across there. Lot number two, just got a per perfectly departure. Walked up there. Broke down to a walk, hesitated a little, and squeezed up and picked up the left lead perfectly. Lot number three, long shot to the log. Up and over the log, lot three. He's headed over there to work a coat. Lot number two, rabbit up red, is in the, doing the dry work here. Three circle to the left. It's a ground easy right there, slides up under himself, rolls around. Move the car to the right. Three, just getting ready to drag the log. Just said the coat, ears up, all business right there. Wade's been doing the whole deal on that horse. I'd say gets it down real good on lot two. Jimmy Van Bell. Chin down, mouth closed. Baden's in the back. He's spinning around each way here. Step, step, step around. Not moving his tail. Not having to rally him around and do a whole bunch. Lot three, dragging that log around there over the his left hip, coming up there to the fence. Not worried about the log at all whatsoever. That horse has been there, done that. They've got Wade Black there, our 2021 Road to the Horse champion, and 
uh, off the Glen down there and excited for the Lot three over the bridge, perfect up and over the bridge, and we just had lot two conclude. We got lot five, lot five at the gate. Lot number five, Angel Lincoln Legacy, Boone Carter, Lori Carter, Brown Gill, and I got some crazy of the yearling. I got lot number three, Ray Black Gilden. Shot around here, up extended, good extension at the shot, loping out there, up in the bridle. Big stout smooth horse here. And Wade made note of this horse being a little bit CNT, and he told me this horse is gentle. If he gets fat, he said he will be a little bit tight. He's not going to hurt anybody, but he said, don't get on him. You know, jab him or over and under him. Uh, he get, if he gets fat, he's going to be a little bit punchy when you send him up. And it's one of them you need to loosen him up a little bit and probably manage his feet a little bit at the right time of year. Nice field on the is being off. He's been doing all the rounds for on him. Casey on lot number five. Uh, Zane on lot five. Boone Carter just did the coat. All business at the coat. Zane's riding over here to get the log on him. Wade come down, open down here, stopping, backing up straight. Got a left turn on him. This horse started in the bridle, you know, there's sure enough more bridle training to do, but if you want to go home, keep thinking at it, and then and get around, and you're not know, going to go win the stock horse class on tomorrow, but if you want to go home, keep working the horse, and get better and better anywhere. Back in that heavy bit right now. Got the rudiments of the snack chain down and you know, waiting to spin that step. You know, he's doing it right. Nice field in from way back. Big smooth back, but skin horse and the right time. Zane just got done dragging the log on lot five. That horse don't very really like it, but I don't know you don't see it on Get it. 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 Good breakaway horse. You know, the kid want to do some rodeo or something. He's going to run and stop. A uh, lot, lot of potential there. Okay, we've got Zane Chillman here circling around here on five. This horse got a, he's a big loping horse, but pretty moving, dude. Hits the ground easy. A lot of extension and at the gallop. And throws that right. Right. Boone has shown this horse in some little Stock horse equitation deals over there in Eastern Idaho. He's been around a few little horse shows. Let Zane kind of rear back there and take a hold of him and shoot his still. You hit the ground good, but they fenced this horse here the other night. If he could have set his sliders on him and took him home and kept at it, this horse going to run and stop big. They've been ranching on him mostly, but did uh, their left skin, right skin. Jenny's over there on lot six. She's not sure. I don't know if the windmill's been or whatever. She's going to work on the log. If she doesn't want to do the log, it's not the end of the world either. Some of these are going to watch some of that and go, I don't like that. That doesn't mean they're dangerous or whatever. They're, just, they're not as ready to do that. Okay, we've got Van coming around here. He's open on coming around there. Cole hook on lot seven, slow circles coming through. Okay. 
Sydney, my daughter just pointed out that Jenny worked that mare here last night, dropped the log, did everything. And sometimes the sound feet are squeaking and creaking and making noise and stuff. These horses are too different. That mare was a, did all that last night without any trouble, so it didn't get a great showing, but the sound system here can cause some issues sometimes. And I, I've maintained that for some time. There's places these folks can take these horses and do a whole lot less and honestly get more money. Um, and, and sometimes this trail cross will hurt, hurt on a price sometimes because there's some different things here that, you know, aren't just so so. Uh, and, and so they're really exposing everything here and we appreciate these good horsemen and women that come here and do this. We do it because we, we think it is telling of a horse's disposition and all the quietest and solidest ones are going to go through here without a hitch. The greener ones are maybe going to show some culty stuff, but this mare's loping around good here. She did drag the log yesterday. I don't know if there was something else over the fence new, but if she, you can drag the log with her. She just wasn't sure about it today. Pretty loping there. Hits the ground easy. Lot seven. Just did the coat. Did the log. Nice smooth bay deal in there. Cold lacy up. Good consignment. Loose rain, ears up, that horse is all business at this trail class. Cold getting the rope down and drag that log. Uh, lot six here, like I say, here she comes around here, pretty open thing. This man's not very big, but she sinks her feet. Uh, and like I say, very passionately bred. She's got a big footed, big stout kind of a horse, a fed horse around or something you know over have. This man had some quality and refinement and some. Uh, style to some horses that could use a little smoothing out. Dragon log here coming right over, cold driving him up and over it. He's watching it there, up and over his hip. All business there, not, not even looking back at it. <clears throat> Left spin here on lot six, just no stepping around. Good cadence in a spin, chin down. Hawk up under her and just step, step, step. Uh, same deal here. If you got a youth at home that's got a little bit of tenacity and wanting to do, do this now kind of in between a brand new colt and a colt. Uh, you know, these kind of good ones who get some teenagers started on that are good riders that need, some, need a horse and need some finishing. Uh, good consignment there and pretty little mare. And a good video of her, too. Go watch that video. Lot seven, lot number eight, my power slide just came through the gate. Big pretty gilding here of Buckingham's. Nice great gilding. Right up and up through the trail. Uh, through the gate, over the log. Ears up, loose rain. Just stepping along all business. Lot number seven just went over the bridge. Up and over the bridge, he's loping some circles here. This horse had some cow horse training with Justin Wright in California. Um, if you don't think cir circling is, is a hard thing to do, you know, ride one straight ahead every day and then come in here and, and try to get in the right lead and stay between the reins and have them lope around like that. They don't all just do that naturally. Good breeding helps, but there's been some time doing that. And I'll guarantee you, when you get outside and open up to go after something, those kinds are honestly nicer to ride too because they go where you go and they're not stiff, they're not up in your hands, they're, they they know how to give that chin and you know keep their shoulder up and extend with their loin and, and drive behind. So, uh, folks have had some good training and is a product of good program. Yeah. Lot number eight, just did the toe, all business at the toe, he's dragging the log here, totally relaxed, just plodding along with that log, not even looking back at it. Um, I keep saying that before, if you want to enter any of these HHA versatilities, these little ranch horse contests, you've got a kid you want to get started in 4-H or a pony club or whatever, you know, any of these little extra, there's a lot more and more of these equitation deals. This horse is riding in the bridle, all business in the trail class. Nice trade gilding there. 
Lot seven, bolting around here pretty, hits the ground, slides up under himself on loose rain. We can use our next horse at the gate, lot number nine. Bodie Ed and Bailey Evans, new little remedy there, good four year old building by New Rem and Cash out of a daughter set cut with remedy. Guys, go circles here. We've got some guys call wanting to make head horse prospects, body horse prospects. You know, we're going to go on and do some versatility. I had all interest in him already for that. That horse has got the age and the training and ready to really go forward quickly and doing some things in a big way. It's down good. Lot number eight, Buckingham's horse. I don't know what it is. No nonsense. Didn't even look at it. Just stepping on. Tom just picked up the left lead departure. Perfect lead departure. Lot number nine over the log through the gate. Nice four year old building there of, of the Evans. A well bred horse. Big footed, flat boned horse. And uh, been doing a real job out there in Laidlaw Park in that rough country there in southern Idaho. Spending lots of calves on him, doctoring off of him, doing the whole deal. Steppy little, steppy little efficient turnaround here on on lot number eight, max power slide. Got the code on lot nine there, getting the code down there. Colt's not even worried about it. He's just taking it all. Bodie, Bodie's got some video of him with his black tarp all over him, no deal. We've got lot number eight, taking the right lead there, open the right circle, pretty open horse both ways. Ears up, uh, low tail head on this horse. This horse is thick and stout, but he's just smooth as glass watching him go here. Tom just now the fine lead change on him to the left. Same deal there. Those fine lead changes don't just happen. And, I mean, there's some of them that born doing it, but a lot of them have to run now. And you don't, if you don't know what you're doing, a fine lead change isn't always that easy. Now to the left to right, got the fine lead change both ways, which is a big issue at the horse show nowadays. Uh, if you don't have your lead changes, you're going to have a hard time marking very good. Bodie Evans on lot, lot number nine, dragging the log. This colt, this is going, this is a big stick, long hip, flat bone colt. Just for I keep saying that you see this horse in two years, he's going to be a lot more horsey than man. He's been, been well cared for and in good condition. They've been feeding him plenty, but I think this horse has got a lot of a lot of go in him still. He's, his sire is a big, thick, stout horse and uh, lots of shape and a gorgeous horse. Bodie's backing around there, got that clear around behind his channel board and pulling off that left side. And I've said that before on some of this. There's only one way to find that out. And so it takes a good cowboy up there. He's got a little ice water in his range. And you don't, that doesn't always go well, wrap one around that side. And you get one that wants to all of a sudden panic and come out of there. It isn't fun. So this horse has had a lot of the hard stuff done. And, He's already taken it. If you're looking for a prospect that's well beyond just getting started, but you know, essentially just a four year old, that you want to mark this colt down of a voting baby Evans. Lot number eight just left the pen, nice great gilding. Uh, did everything you need, need to do and did it well. We've got lot number sixteen, we've got Andy oh, lot number ten up here, Rick Jones. Uh, Rome Gilden by our old step media. Give you a play again. Riding around here in the two rain today. Uh, this horse is like say he's grown a lot since I sold him two years ago, and they brought him along quite a bit. I we had about sixty days on him, and they got it, and uh, they really advanced him well. This is this is this colt had a lot of ability as a colt. He really wanted to stop, and move around good. But uh, if you want to do some horse showing or ride down the road and get attention, that's a big hit. And stand up, handsome horse, and hits the ground easy there. He wants to stop. I got some guys calling on wanting some real horse, real horse, head horse, kind of crossover kind of horse. And 
that horse would rope both ends if he decided to. Good at the cold, no all business at the cold, he's not watching the cold whatsoever. He's dragging the coat and doing the log at the same time. We've got lot nine, Bodie, just circling around here on this day, Colt Gildan. Uh, cow horse breeding on every line there, you know, that checks out Ramity. Kirk showed that mare, and she was a good little mare. And uh, out of the known daughter, smart little Lena, and I, he showed the stat a lot. Old Gypsy Ramonick was a daughter of Ramonick that Teddy Robinson won a lot on. So this horse has blue blood in every single line in his pedigree. And, uh, Bodie's been... Like say he told me the other day he's been riding in a lighter bit, but he's got that little Mona Lisa or something on him, you know, roll a bit with him there. You know, if you want to go home and tinker at it a little bit and go slow and not get in a hurry, that horse is well started in a stiff bit. But if you want to dance him a little bit more and fine tuning and try to put a you know a, a shank bit looser shank bit on him too. But he's riding in the bridle range here today, even though he's just four. He's not finished in the bridle by any means, but um, he's been sure flexing at the pole and extending forward there. And he's going on there on lot 10. Pretty trot, stepping out horse, coming right up here. Transitions well, right up and over the bridge. Same deal here, if you want to go into those ranch horse contests and stuff, and you got to do that ranch trail, uh, that horse is ready to go do it. You're going to watch the cow and do the roping too. Bryce Cadeen just did the open the um, lot eight red hot charger. Come through the gate. What's going on here? Gonna go over and cross the log. We got lot ten circling each way, lot nine circling the other way. Guys, lot 10, lot 10. That horse is giving up the pole. He's not leaning on his hands. He's not gapping the bridle. You know, we're riding him in the two lane, but uh, Randy's had that horse and rode him a bunch. I know Andy's had him for some time, too, and run and hit the ground there. You know, same deal here. If you want one to say, hey, I'd like to, you know, go home and keep at it and show it a fair this year, that horse is well on his way. Lot number 11, just did the coat, all business, dragging the log over here. Pay attention to lot 11 if you're watching online. Price the beans, 2012 style gilding red hot charger. Okay, just came around here in the big circle, lead chain. He's going to run straight down here and stop this horse. Hits the ground good there, rounds his back, chin down. Lot nine walking out. Good flat walk here. Nice cold. Good four year old building that's been doing a full day's job and, and been in good hands. Lot 11 dragging the log. All business at the log. No issues there. Lot 10 step, step, step around. Holding the pivot foot. Good cadence in his. In the step, in the front end. Good, good three and a half spins around there. Good speed up and slow down. Just step, 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 step. That's the big hard, hard part on that spin. Is, you know, they'll all get faster if you can get them in cadence and get them to step. And, and uh, you know, it's the speeding up and the slowing down and jumping ahead. That horse is soft. It's been done correct tonight, and, right. and uh, a right lot upside to him still. Round his back to the stop. No pop there. Spot 12, we've got Jake Brown just came through the gate on uh, Daw. That horse is registered if you're looking at your catalog. He is a paper horse. And uh, so if he does come with HHA papers, if, I think if you got online, there's a picture of his papers on his video. Over the log, all business. 
We got lot 11. He just went across the bridge. Bryce is down here circling this horse around. Easy loping horse takes his leads good. I, his boy got a bit of him circling around. A little eight year old boy loping around in the pasture. And this horse just galloped anywhere he painted him. Never took a hold of him. Uh, nice field and a nice, nice field. Man. Just did the code on, on uh, the off lot 12. No business at the coat. Dragging the log off here. No business with that log. Not looking back. Not worried about it. We need lot number the following lot to come through the gate. Lot number of. Oh, 12 is at the log. We've got lot number 13 coming through the gate. Boom, boom top JR. That's going to be used today's good building. Lot 12, just up the log, stand it at the trot, right over to the bridge, up and on. No hesitation. Lot number 13, over the log, this horse is just stepping along, then used today showing him a nice big smooth gray deal over there. All business here, but this, he's not worrying about a thing. Lot 12, loping around here on a loose rein. Easy cadence at that gallop. Simple lead change to the left, but he just broke gate and then right to the left lead. That horse riding in a full half lead bridle on a lot light rain, neck rain. Lot 13, did the coat, ears up, not worried about the coat whatsoever. He's riding right up and over that rope. Gonna go drag this log around here on lot 13, do something there. A straight run down here on lot 12. Lot 13 dragging a log here. All business at the log. We've got Sean last week. We just came in on lot 14. Chick Diego Santana. Nice baby over here, lot 14. Good at the gate. Walking along here. Ears up. Step at a time. Relax. Quiet. Not worried about anything. Lot number, lot number 12, straight run down here, rounds his back, kicks the hawk in the ground. And he's not coming down here wide open, but he's at the boat, you know, this horse, he'd work at a, you know, a little county fair stock horse class, and he's just going to get better if he went home and keep, kept it going. But soft in the bridle, head down, pretty mover, nice kill then from taking that out of ground. Lot 14, coming up to the coat, going to do the log. Lot 13, just did the drag the log, did the coat. Stepping out, traveling horse there, that horse is just trotter. He got some miles and nice, he's going to trot, but if you want to ride slow, he'll go slow. Stand right up there, relaxed on that bridge. No issues at all, just plop along up and off of there. That Sean, he's swinging that coat over his head. He's ready to jump Buffalo off the Buffalo, jump off of him. Got his coat up and over his head. That horse is totally relaxed, quiet. He's not worried about anything. We've got lot number 15, quite the kitty chaser. Just came through the gate. Same deal, head down, loose range. Step, 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 get at the gate. Send a little little jog right there. Send a lot of people want to do that rancho facility. That's they say the biggest class at the quarter horse shows right now. They'll have an excess of honors. 
set of horses in those amateur facility classes. And that horse is right ready to go to town and go to win. And he's broke. Except his tail goes out nice. You're not going to go there and have one to race forever. His own horse the same. Lot number 14, dragging the log, all business, not worried about it at all. Lot 13, pretty open horse. Um, I've had a few guys inquire about this stone deal, then, you know, about him polishing a little bit more, and I, I don't know why he wouldn't. I mean, he, this horse moves good. The video marking a cow, and just a little more polishing at home. This horse got to get have a big move on a cow. So I, he found the first thing and I did was on the full sister to his mother. That horse is everywhere he went. He stuck his hocks in the ground, put his head down. The cow did not get away from him. Uh, nice big smooth roan horse here. Hard time to find, but a good Fort Ranch horse that came from the queen and from the Fort Ranch left. Set down then. Got 14, picking up the left lead. Pretty little lope here. Uh, same deal here. This horse got a really good cadence, good circling horse. Lot 14 and lot 13 circling. Lot 15 just did the coat. Same deal. All business at the coat. Lana's reaching out there. He's clear over there. Pick it up over his head. And that rope buzz a little. Kind of, kind of made a little just clinch that didn't do a thing. A lot of horses, if you reach over the head, drag it over the ear like that. They, they didn't like it. They weren't going to take it. Dragging the log. He's doing the hard duty here and pulling that log clear down around his lower hip there. Uh, same deal there. There's only one way to find that out, you know. So that horse is very broke. He's trusting and can to get him. Stepped him over it. Got it between the front leg, and he's making him back up with the foul. He's thinking about it, you know, obviously, but he, a bad one would not tolerate that. That horse just let him step it over, dally out, back up, throw that log back. Lot 14 here. Pretty loping horse. I think he could just lope this horse with that speed all day long. And he wouldn't try to speed up or slow down on you. He's going to go as fast as you want to go. And if that's how fast you go, that's the gear right there. Uh, nice galloper there. Lot 13, walking down at Lindy today, leaving on lot 13. Green Talks Jr. Big Scout Smooth Rowan Gilden. Uh, good video of him. If you have not watched that video, go watch it. They've done a good job of showing the whole deal on him. Lot 14, that horse takes his lead both ways, gets the ground easy. Scalp around there in the loose range, and right now lane. Go to a stop. Off down. Lot 15, heading on over there to the bridge. Up and over the bridge, all business. Standing right there, relax. Loose range. We've got Emma V. going on lot 16. She just came through the gate on Via Starlight 2015. Her own, own gilding. Good at the gate. Stepping right along there on a loose rein, relaxed, quiet, ears up. Lot 15 coming around here with Lannon Hall. He's going to circle him each way, going up and over the bridge a couple of times. Left lead. Good extension of the low pier. The horse's shoulders up, hips in, chin down. Well driven behind and light in his hands. Lot number 13, Mamma Diagona is uh, on lot number 16, I'm sorry. Getting the coat down. All business with the coat. She's sacking him out there and he's, he's not worried about it at all. Lot 15. Low to the ground. Pretty low the horse, guiding around there each way. Landon's going to get his rope down and 
pull it around him a little bit. Lot 16, just left the coat. Be a starlight. He's going to go over here. Good at the coat. Not scared about you getting your jacket off, off the fence. Going to drag this log here off in just a second. Landon's getting his coat around, or his rope around the feet on lot 15. You saw him fouling with that rope at the log. That horse step over and dally on it. Good about it. There's no problem. Lot 16, all business at the log. He's watching it, but he's, he's relaxed. You can tell he's not in any way worried about it. <clears throat> all right, we need lot number 17. Lot 17, Slugger, Casey Brunson's 11, 2011 gilding. Lot 17, over the gate, and right down here and across the log. Lot 16, get the log, all business, walking over there. Just a good business-like walk over there, loose rain, stepping along. He's not rattled up. Lot 17, he's side passing back and forth over this log, up and down on the log on old slugger. Sixteen, she's trotting up him sign there, just did the log, getting ready to take the right lead in the right circle. Up in the left right lead, takes it takes his leads good. Giving his chin, riding between the little mountain reins there, and good there. We've got Paul Padilla entering on lot 18. He's coming in at the gate. We've got lot 17 with the coat. Good at the coat. Uh, he told me the other day, too, that horse didn't like the log, and he, he pulled with it some. Uh, he's watching a little bit there. That horse is very broke. He's had lots and lots and lots of cattle roped on him. He, he guarantee you he's not scared of roping live cattle. He's a little watchy at the log, but he's stepping over it. He's going to drag it anyhow. And, and he, like I say, he's been an excellent horse and a good cowboy. And he, he said he'll drag the log. He's just watching it. And that's exactly what he's going to do with him. Lot number. 18, open over the log, pick me Boone, 2017 Bay Gildan, Rome Gildan. Yeah, he sees a lot, he's, you know, I'd say, or oh, he's stepping quick, but he's not having to. Cut his tongue off to hold him there. He's just not sure that he thinks that log's a good deal. I had one a few years ago. It was a nice horse, a five-year-old. I branded a bunch of calves on him all and the same deal. I got in here and dragged the log, and he, he thought it was Godzilla or something. But, but once in a while you get one that just doesn't like that log. This horse is more time getting better at it. I'm sure he's better than the first time he did it. And I say good cowboy on him that he's going to help him get some trust and confidence there. Uh, nice killed him here. I think, like I say, he came to get one that can go home and stand up to some real use. Honestly, good for level, different levels of riders. That's a good killed him. Lot number 18, Pick Me Boone, coming up to the coat. Okay, you got that log up there close right now. You know, a lot of times this horse getting better as he goes at it all right long. A lot of them you don't dally up and face that thing. It's even worse than it coming behind. But he's taking it there, making him making him get over it. 
Feeling a little confident. Lot 16 just left the arena. Emma's open and closing that gate down there. Uh, did everything she asked him to do without any hesitation. Lot 18 at the coat. Got the coat down. He hears back watching it a little bit, but he's he's standing there letting Paul roll him out around there with it. Doing good. Lot 19 at the gate. Mr. Cool Red Pep, Jim Barton. Lot 17 is coming up to the bridge. Up and onto the bridge. Stand at the bridge on a loose rein. And he stepped off. Easy go. And ride him up and on there again. Lot 19 just came through the gate at the bridge. All business there at the bridge at the gate, I mean. Uh, Jim Barton's good. Bay Ro Blue Roan Guild and Mr. Red Pep, Mr. Cool Red Pep. Paul Padilla dragging the log there on lot 18. Colt's watching it just a little bit, but he's he's not trying to sail out. Just go ahead and taking it and uh, getting better and better out of it. It's the first time I've seen him do that, but the <coughs> horse is coming along well. Lot number 17, guys, this horse riding in a happy bride or roller bride with Mount Mal Rain. Takes his leads both ways good. He's loping up good extension between the bridle reins. Giving his chin. This horse hits the ground easy. About 19 at the coat. We're watching it a little bit. Good cowboy on him here. Jim made a lot of good horse over the years. And, and sacked him out on that coat. And he's going to go put it back out and stand in right for it. About 17, step, step, stepping around here. That horse, he's got a little feather on his legs, but he can still step around. He, he's an athletic horse. Riding around good both ways. Nice, nice half linger gild in there. Like Casey told me his first one he's ever ridden, but he really likes him. They've had him about five years. He said his wife wasn't very happy with him that he was for sale. Uh, that happens sometimes, but that's a good problem to have. Uh, the horse has been very useful there. And, uh, I feel like he's a great off in here today. Lot 18. Galloping around here, poles loping around here in a circle. Uh, riding this horse in a basically straight up in the back. This horse getting his chin down, staying between the bright, bright reins. Got a good little shade and slope. Lot number 20, PD Chloe's Colonel. Joel Wilson on this very own gilding. Guys, this is a handsome horse here, and uh, Joel's been showing this horse a little bit, going to some horse shows. Nice gilder. That's a that's a pretty rascal with a lot of shape and dimension and thing sure broke. Up and over the log, lot twenty. It's all business at the log. Lot number nineteen, he's on on over to cross the bridge. Lot eighteen. Right lead, Ralph now down the right lead. Chin down, between the bridle reins. Good extension. Lot 20 is over there with the coat, putting it on, shaking it around, doing the whole deal on him. Same deal, here's another one that you, if you want to do some, some ranch versatility, uh, some stock horse stuff that's in all these little associations, you know, near and far, uh, that horse is ready to go on and, and go do some stuff and have some fun at town too if you, if you want to do more than just branch ride. Been in good hands. Joel's doing an awful good job with these horses. Doing a good horsemanship. And, uh, this, is, this is a nice day, Gilman. Uh, day rolling, Gilman. He's a little bit day there, but he's got rolling. 
Slot 19, Jim Barton on his good drill then. Gallop in a right circle. Good forward extension. Chin up. Shook neck. You know, he's not got his shoulders up, chin down. And reaching right up there and going where he wants to go. Got him a left. Little simple lead, left lead change and coming around there. Switching sides. Left to right. Picks up his lead. Yeah, we've got Raleigh Lyle here. As quick as he's open up a bit, we'll come around. Raleigh on lot 21. DW Lexi Fratton. Uh, beautiful mare here. Uh, quite a bit of the deal of Raleigh showing her at the Elko County Fair in the Hackamore. A uh, bunch of video ranching on her, wrangling horses. Becky's wrangling the horses out of the pasture on her. Uh, rare find here in a mare like this of this type of quality. And uh, we're excited about her and appreciate that consignment. Log 20, just drag the log, all business at the log. Coming up and over the bridge. That horse is a pretty moving horse. His neck fits on him really right. Low hop, deep cinching horse. All business again, up and over the bridge. Stand there and wait, no issues there. Lot 14, lot 19, Jim Barton, he's filming that big blue roan horse around. He's got the foundation laid down now and turn around on that horse. If, uh, if you want to go home and keep at it, that horse, it's, what he's got there is the right way to do it from the get go. That horse is going to be a big big handsome athletic horse it already is a big trap of cold but he's at hits the ground easy and preventing good hands Part 21 he's getting the coat off raleigh lyle over there on lexi fratton good with the coat all business at the coat Lot 20, he's coming right around here. This horse is a, a good loper. He naturally wants to keep that head right there and uh, vertical and, and uh, lots of extension behind. You're not going to have to go around kicking and kicking and kicking to keep that horse to reach up under himself. He, he naturally comes up under himself very well. I mean, obviously a product of good training too, but... Lot 21, lap dragging the log. Joel just now the flying lead change left to right there. Up there in the bridle. Like I said before, those those flying lead changes don't just happen and the good one and natural one helps a lot. If they're not good at it, it it's eliminated for a lot of them if you want to show in the rain and stuff. That horse just did a real pretty Corrected and, and uh, mechanically correct left to right lead change. Lot 21, dragging the log, no business at the log. He took the right to left lead a little bit, but he still got it around the end there and didn't pick his head up to do it. So oh, that horse is, he's got a lot of push. He hits the ground pretty there. He ran him down there pretty briskly. Smooth into the ground, low hops right up under himself, soft in the grip. Left spin. He's not flying around, but just stepping around there. That horse, he put some skid boots on him and keep pecking at him. That's going to get better and better, but he's not doing anything mechanically wrong there. So that's the worst thing on some of them. You get one that somebody riled around and forced around, and they get to turn around like a welded two by four and, and uh, flopping around there. And it's hard to fix a lot of that. This horse. He's got the fundamental foundation there, and if you want to go home and keep at it, it's just going to get better. Correct, correct fundamentals in that turn. Crawley just crossed the bridge. He's coming around here to low ground. Joel turning and stopping this horse. 
We need lot number 22 at the gate. Lot 21, just come to the center, picked up the right lead departure from the walk to the counter. I said earlier today, I, I started this mare's mother as a two-year-old. I only wrote her about 30 times, but she uh, she was a peep to get along with, easy to start. And uh, this mare, you know, is a credit to her mother. Um, by that moonlight dancer horse, Linda, those horses have been good to get along with. We've had a couple of half sister to her here out of it, a red roan play by that stud three-year-old and uh, we really like to keep get the start and just forget them but those have been good horses stepping around <coughs> lot 22 of the log cd pistol pete nice done gilden here Side passing over the log each way. All business at that. Left lead departure here on this 21. This guy's loping around quiet, head down, behind the bridle. Run straight down there. Go to the ground deep. Good step and turn around. Good cadence in that spin. And let's say fundamentally correct there. Pretty mare here. And uh, let's say if you, if you came for a gift and didn't come for a mare, same deal. You might want to pay attention to her still because I've said it for some time. These, these mares are... Especially in the ranch country, sometimes people don't want to ride mares. This mare's been good to get along with, and uh, you know, don't mark her off it, 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 over that. And I, like I said, I think you'd be glad you went home with it, this this mare. Big hip on her, pretty mare, got a little chrome on her. And they've been doing everything on her, had her since she was a baby. Lot 22, dragging the log, all business here, ears up. He's not even looking back at it. He's, he's just heading wherever she wants him to go. Good video of this, Gildan. Uh, one of Ryan Markham's boys, man and cat, Ryan, I think 11 years old, but dragging big calves of fire on him. And uh, this horse ready to go home and, and do anything you want to do and enjoy enjoy it as you're doing it. We need lot number 23 at the gate. Okay, up and over the bridge with lot 22. Left lead departure here. Slope top. Here's a We've got Zach May to just cross the across the log on his butt skin there, lot 23, all business here. This mare's ears up, going right where they point her. Over there to the coat. Lot 20, 22, CD Pistol Pete just took the right lead. 
Galloping around here in a nice right circle. Nice stop there on lot 22. Run straight down there. Hit the ground smooth. Turning around fast here. Good little step here. Same deal here. This horse is, you know, he's not ready to go to an open horse show or something, but it, he's got a lot of the hard stuff done. And, you know, if you want to go home and keep keep banging, you could bench to go to the fair and ranch versatilities and have a lot of fun right away. Good looking horse, stand there on loose rein. Lot 23, dragging the log. Pretty buckskin mare here and a good one. These guys have roped. Big cattle, little cattle, everything on her, and that mare's in the bridle. Uh, she's a peach. I just, I really like this mare. She's watching that log there a little bit, but she's not going to sail out of there. He's he's kind of holding her up there and letting her think about it. I'm going to say this, especially these horses that have been out and running rough country and, you know, maybe wire and other things on the ground and stuff. Some of them know you don't wall her up over something like that. You know, you just don't do some of that. So you're going to see some of these outside horses that watch that a little bit. But this mare's soft in the bridle. Pretty way of going here. Really neck fits on her right. Uh, head hang just hinges right there. Stepping out, little fancy moving there. Carmen dragging that rope all around, up and down and over that deal then. Not having any issues at all. We need lot number 24 at the gate. Lot 24 is a. Uh, I'm going to say this when we get back to you. Lot 20, lot uh, 22 leaving the arena. Nice gun building. Lot 23, truck made a year, open this man around. Break her down, Zach. He's in the wrong lead. There you go. She'll take the left lead. Guys, yeah, a nice mare here. First time consigner with Zach, and I haven't got a chance to meet his wife yet, but good people. I'm sure enjoyed visiting with her on the phone. And this is a good little mare, a really good mare. So I, I think if you came to Florida particularly, you want to take attention to her, and this mare's been doing a real job and, and been in good hands. <laughs> How <laughs> many? Yeah, that's fine. Right there. Yes, Chad. <laughs> Yeah, we've got uh, Peggy Davis over there on lot 24. Just did the coat, the all business like the coat with that good gild and going to drag the log. I've got to show this horse myself. I apologize for going blank there for a second, but I'll, I'll try and talk about Peggy here for a minute too. She's getting ready to 
get the log, rope off the fence and drag the log on that brown field and black field and Peggy's, Peggy's over there dragging the log on that gilbin. He's up all business. He's not giving her any issues. It, and it's not any bother to him at all. We've got lot 25 here. This three-year-old gilbin, pistol cinder. He's a, he's a full brother to the horse that Rick Jones has in the sale. He's a three-year-old model. I, they probably got about 90 rides on him. We started him the fall. He was a two-year-old before my son left on a mission, and, and Corey Dean rode him like 10 times, and then uh, I was going to put him in last year's sale, and Justin Sorensen had him for about three weeks, and he was lame at sale time. He tricked him, and he had a sore foot. We didn't ride him again until fall. Peggy's up and over the gate, up and over the bridge, all business on lot 24 there. Because this horse is really quiet in here, head down, straight ahead for her, and all business in this trail class. Cat just fell off and whacked him on the butt, and he just went on. So, uh, loping around here good with Peggy, took his left lead well. She's going to come around here and get her other lead chain or switch directions in a minute. Uh, anyhow, this horse has been riding him here just three days a week through the winter and up till spring. I've had him do a few brandons and they turned some bulls out on him and did a little pushing cattle around here. I wrote the calf that went back on him last week uh, and tied off to it there when we trailed some cattle up the highway. Uh, Peggy just loped down here nice, getting a good left, right spin, horse run down there, stop straight. Right over here and get the coat. Got lot twenty four there, circling around that horse. Good at the lope. We're going to drag the log here on lot 25. Go get that hat. Sure, I was gonna run out there, but thank you. I'll get it. Thank you. Oh, 
about 25 at the grid. There's that horse, the peg, he's got 24. Just did his, did his field there, stand down. Oh, you're good, down. go ahead. Wait for the, doing a good job. We've got Red McDonnell on his good field and coming through the gate. Yeah, I'm all over. Good job, Peggy. Thank you. Guys, got 24 leaving the arena. Good horse walking out on a loose rein. Flat walking, traveling horse. Lot 26 there, coming through the, just entered at the gate, going over there to cut, to drag the log. Guys, this horse here, I'll take a little time to talk about my own. 26 older log, all business. That's coming around there to get the coat with him. Uh, this coat was one of those, he was, he was gentle to start, but Honestly, one of them, the first first ten rides, he just he kind of felt like his feet weren't connected to his face, and he didn't do anything bad. But honestly, didn't really like him that well, um, and he just felt like a gangly kind of a gangly colt. But he's like, I guess he's like anything in life. If you work at something, he came at it. He's really come along in the last little bit. He's been gentle and good natured, and you know, good that way. Good good to handle and load and do the deal. Lot 26, just got the coat, all business at the coat. Red's gonna get the log on in here. Red got log on lot 26. Like I said, I, I went to the mailbox on this horse last night in the dark about 11.30 and closed the gates. and. And uh, we were putting up stuff here, and I told Sydney to saddle him about dark. He said, well, it's getting dark, Dad. And I said, well, I know, but he's got to be in tomorrow. And I didn't do anything more than slope down there and walk him home. And I turned him around a little bit in front of the barn. But Lot 26, he's dragging this log, no nonsense, relaxed about it, head up, chin down, ears up, uh, all business with the log. This colt wasn't a good, great galloper. He was one of those that when you gallop him, he, he, he gallop three strides and break gate, he gallop four strides and break gate, and he kind of wanted to be in your hands a little bit. And I just kind of bet the bumping on him and keeping him softened up. But he, he is one at first, he was not a great galloper. And when you get on him, he's probably going to feel like he's kind of pushing on your hands. And, a little bit. Uh, my daughter saddled him for me, and I think David kind of trotted him for about five minutes and then brought him over here. So he hasn't had a bunch of galloping, but he, he, he's going to be a good galloper. He, uh, if you watch the video of him, he's wanting to stop. You know, there's actually some horse training, plenty of horse training to do still. But when you first get on him, like any of them, he, he doesn't feel great at first. He's not doing anything bad, but he'll kind of want to be in your hand. And I just bump at him, bump at him, bump at him pretty soon. He's getting his head down, letting you loaf around on a loose range. We've got lot 26 here, Red McDonald. Good gilding, galloping around here in the left lead, carrying that bridle nice between the bridle reins. Pin down, hits the ground easy right there, sticks the hawk way up under him. Rolled over himself. Right lead, right lead departure. And same deal. That horse is a big, pretty moving horse. Good extension behind. Good carriage, good shoulders up, hips in, behind the bit. Anyhow, this colt's like any of them, but he's gonna he's gonna feel a lot better after he's been on him for 15 minutes and loafing, but it's getting better. About 26. Are you doing the announcing now? Okay, we've got Andy Holcomb on. Andy Layton's good mare. 
lost 28 to 10. Same good match. She just came through the gate. Pretty at the top, up and over to the log. Kind of watching that log and just step tried to over it. I spend a little time bumping on him. I haven't rode him in draw range or a martingale or anything, but I I mean I have spent a little time bumping his chin down. He just give him his head and sit up there like a sack of potatoes. He'll pick it up there and hold it that high. So if, if you give him a little reason to say, No, I don't want it up there, he will lower his head and he can. I remember Bobby Ingersoll saying that when I was a kid. He said, these people watch these horses and watch them spin and slide and turning around and doing all this stuff. And he said, they, they just get on them and they do that. He said, they don't do that. He said, you ride one straight ahead all day. You never bend him around. You never ask him to stop and turn. You never ask him to flex. He said, but he will be the stiffest animal you've ever ridden. So... A lot of this is, is there's some time that goes into it, and there's also some training. Obviously, good breeding helps, and this horse can lower his head, but he will pick it up and put it in the wrong place if you let him. But I haven't had to ride him really hard, but, you know. I honestly play rode 20 minute sessions here, even for the last few weeks, other than if we were out doing some work, and he'd get, he'd get better every time. Lot 28, dragging the log. Beautiful mare. No bit, no, no issues at all with that log. If you're looking for one the same that could go and do some ranch versatility, have some fun, or you got a the youth at home you want to get started with some help, that mare is going to be a, a hard time to find to go do that. And she's well on her way uh, to getting a lot of enjoyment out of and have been in good hands with Randy. He bought her as a Lima affiliate down on her and has done a really good job with her. Thank you for your You're a very gracious host. Hostess, excuse me. Andy just went up and over the bridge on that mare. All business at the bridge. You know, some of this obviously is going to be different than that if you're out in the hills, but the same. And if they'll walk over something like that here, it's going to be easier to do it out there. <laughs> Lot 29, up and over the log. No, no problems here, all business. Lot 28, this mess galloping around really pretty. Hits the ground nice. Now it's got a pretty stop. If you watch the video of her, they're doing quite a bit on her there too. And same deal, real close to going to some little stuff, you know, in the cow horse. Ranch horse contest and having some fun. You get done, go home and then do a match breeder and make some nice baby. Bot 29, he's dragging the log here. Good buckskin gilding. He's all business. He's not worried about that at all. He's going to that with that log just like he was a calf going to the fire. He's good at the coat, switching sides with it, dallying from the left side. They don't all do that. If anybody's tried roping on one that's been roped right and never been roped left, it, that isn't always that easy. So that's a good showing of that gilding. And he's exposing in. It maybe wasn't his very best. Run down there, 28, hit the stop. Pretty stopping there. Pretty little neck on her. That mare moves right. 
you know, the stop and, you know, I remember hearing Todd Crawford when I was pretty young talk about that. When you want a cow horse, if you're going to buy one thing, you better buy the stop because you don't always keep the stop. That is a God-given attribute in a lot of them. You can enhance it or you can make it worse, but then that goes to the ground really pretty. Slot 29, just did the log drag, did it the log, keep raining him around each way. He's getting ready to go do the slope him around each way. I'll get out of your way. We got lot 31, Tramp Smith's good buckskin gill and right through the right through the gate. All easy. Oh, Are we okay? Lot 28 leaving the arena. Nice all there. Randy Layton, good consignment. Lot 29. Jake Gill's buckskin horse. Pretty buckskin gills in the air. I, you know, we've got lots of nice buckskins today, but just a tighty horse there. Pretty mane and tail, long hips, and that horse loping around good. Pitch it down to easy there. Backs up straight. Lot 31. That horse is just, he's all business. He's really quiet in here. You can tell that's a good natured, easy going horse. Loose rain at the walk, right through the log drag, going to get the coat. Through the log crossing, and you're going to get the coat, grab the log. Block 29. That's a traveling horse there, too. If you want one that's going to walk home at night, not. Where you out getting there? What's that horse got a good step and reach and walk on a loose rein? Back up and over the bridge there now again. Right up and on the bridge, back and forth, no nonsense. Gentle field in there. I, that's one of the quieter horses in the whole sale. You can just tell by your watching that he's not, he's not too worried. These guys run a bunch of cattle up there, flying there out of Mitchell and Rugged Country. And they say good video of them there and passing him and riding his bear back and doing all kinds of stuff. That's a, that's a hard kind of thing there. Lot 31. We've got Jimmy Bell. Van Bell on lot 32. Uh, Diamond Wizard, SKR Diamond Wizard is 2016 Palomino Gilman. Lot 31 crossing the bridge, up and over the bridge, all business, loose rain. No faster over the bridge than it went on or off, just up and on, and there he is. <clears throat> Cross the log over here with 32. All business at the log here. Pretty horse, pretty horse going away here. He can go more tail than he did to Jimmy said he nearly to the end of his tail a little bit, but he he's gonna grow more tail than he's got. All business at the code. Not worried about that at all. Guys 31 here. 
you know, some people don't don't want to go and gallop fast and spin hard and stop quick, and they just want to ride, you know, in a little jog like that, you know, go in a little easy low. That horse is, you know, just kind of, he looks to me like that. He's going to go by as fast as you ask him to go. So he's, he's probably not the fanciest rain horse in the sale, but he's, he's dang sure pointing and going wherever you want to go, really honest. Cute, got a natural way of going there. And that comes out right. We got Jimmy Van Bell dragging a log over there on lot 32. <laughs> Can't just stand down here and stop those butt. Uh, run straight to the stop. Said, you know, stop straight and get it in correctly. Lot 32 dragging the log. Ears up, he's not watching that at all. That horse is totally relaxed. It's, it's just another day or whatever you want me to do. Let's do it. We need lot 33. Lot 33 at the gate. Jimmy dragging that log up over the hips on his horse there on a lizard. Lot 32. That horse is. Happy to be out there, ears up, tail still. Good trend on that straight down here on lot 31, straight to the stop. Horse naturally wants to stop. I'd say he'd probably be a little more polished in his turn, but he's turning with that way he has him to go, you know. We've got lot number 33. Firefox Frosted, he's got Cole Hook on the uh, Tommy and Alice Buckskin Guild. Big deal, nice guild in here. They sort some pairs in the pre video of him, roped on him, branded on him, done the deal. If you've got a big guy at home that you know, wants a big, strong horse but that can still move for a big horse, that's a good horse to put down. And if you've got somebody that you've got to pass around, to pass around some payload, you will feel like you've got a horse that can move. You need to mark 33 down. Slot 32 just did the bridge, jumping over the bridge, all business. Loping around here in a pretty left circle. Right behind the bridle, ears up. Good forward extension. Slot. Lot 33, all business at the code. He's not worried about that. If you got to drag your code off the hood of the truck on a cold day, he's not going to roll around and leave you halfway over there. Riding over the rope, going to get the rope here and drag that log. 32, galloping to the left. Gold dragging the log there on the no firefox. He's watching that a little bit, but he's on a loose rein. He's not, it might be the second time he's dragged that thing. So. Thirty-two in the right circle. Thirty-three. He's all business. He's got him wrapped that around. He watched a little bit on that side. He grabbed it under his neck and get him just over there and put it off the easy way. So getting ready to cross the bridge on lot thirty-three. Oh. He's got him in the right way to go over it. Nice stop there on 32, right to the ground. 
inside the stand behind his hand. Just step back down. Then he lost 35 at the gate. Trotting along, getting ready to cross over the log. Right up and over the log. Lot 30, 33. Six, right lead, left lead. Guys, 32 ran down there. That horse hit the ground. We had a little bit of bad ground, but we haven't worked this ground at all until this morning with the barrel. So that, that horse would kind of bum up a little bit and touch his hock right down in the ground. Ran and did it again. I haven't, but we need to just see what happened now. Do we have any more Open around here, lot 33, easy on that gallop, just big old slow, easy low, taking it right, taking it left, takes the lead right every time. Tyrell on lot 35, dragging the log on that colt. 2018 saw Gildan all business with the logs. He's not worried about it at all. Get at the coat, dragging it clear up over his hips right there. That horse is not watching it. He's, he's comfortable. They've got a bunch of scabs on him. He's doing good. About 33, walking around there, getting ready to depart the arena. We need lot number 36. Slot 36 at the gate. Kind of got a bump, 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 and just like he's doing, and then every once in a while you might even pull him into the ground, slow him down, and start over. But this colt's been started right, and then he get in. He's looking with his ears up, he's happy. Block 36, just walking right along. Good flat walk up and over the log. He's headed over there to get the coat. Uh, that horse is basically said got some speed too if you want something that you could run it. Tie a grass down on or a breakaway on or barrel race or something. You're going to have some 
that Mara could really run his mother had some gas. Lot 35. Getting a right turn there. He's got the movements of a lot right spin. He's stepping his front end down, shoulder up, keeping his chin down. The turnaround's the same thing. It's just a lot of working at it. And you, you know, it's, it's like putting yourself in neutral and stepping on the gas pedal. You want that drive thing made and you just don't want to be going somewhere. He's got a good little start on his turn around there. Colt picked up the right lead and departed well. Same deal there. That, they don't all do that. There's a lot of them, and you get to try and do that, and they saw it, and they break gate, and they flounder around. This Colt's a good galloper, and uh, he has good extension behind, and, and he wants to hold his chin right, and that fits on right. Casey's over there dragging a log on lot 36 on his habit. I don't think he's dragging that hard at all until the other night. He was early last week, but he's, he's that price is good today and it's getting better every time. That horse got a long wing and tail. Got that little bit of blaze in his face. Got some good, uh, good presence to him. If they're looking for a prospect and want, want to get a good one, you can get on with and don't have to. So like you broke the bank getting on that horse is gonna be something that makes some money on both of these cars. Hit the stop there, nice gallop up there, hit the ground on 35 KL. Turning him around there in one hand. Walking out of there on a loose rein, stepping along. That horse is gonna be a good traveler outside too. He's got lot number 37, feel good by chance of Mickey Mellon. Uh, Grand Santa Fe again. Good at the gate here, right up and through the gate. We've got 36 going over the bridge. Kind of high hold a little bit there, but he didn't jump it, and then he just stepped up and on. Right up and on there. He's going to make him right there just to step up and on. Lot 20, 37, feel good. Good steel gray gilding there, the melons by a son of play gun. You won't have to get the paces out to prove anybody who looks like a play gun. He's got it all over him. So that's, a, that's a nice horse. Right across the log, getting ready to go over here and get the coach. we got 36 coming along here to try. You got a hammer. We need to fix the bridge a little. The bridge needs a little. Where's David at? They might have left it. Casey said their that bridge might need a nail or something driven down. You can use that pipe bench if you want one. If you don't mind. Lot 36 here, he's circling around here, got a start. This horse going to go outside Malta, I and mean, he's kind of Malta a little bit the other night. He's a little bit up in his hands, and, and he's, but he's not been cranky, and he is get, getting better. He's just one of those horses. I told Casey, you might be one of those that guide him along, and that might just need to tie his head, head down and go to open on him, too. And, but he hasn't put anything on him more than a smooth snap, but he's still he's done. The horse is getting better and better. Lot 38, we've got Paul Padilla coming around here on 38. I think that's Paul. Right now, D. Hancock, the 2005 model, good older field in there. We've got a couple of these good older fields in there. If you don't want to go home and fool with the younger horse too much, it will own a center and have a lot of miles on him. Uh, that's one to keep your eye on. Lot 36, got some back up here, standing around. I have 
37, just drop the log. He's all good and put the log. No issues. Okay, my father and all said it over there. We've got good confinement here, old Van and all. That's, he's got that system of good for us. So. Thank you. Thirty-seven up and over the bridge. All business at the bridge. Thirty-eight. About thirty-eight. Just got the coat. He's going over there to drag the log. Casey's over there on thirty-six. Watch this horse when he does stop. Him. He does want to stick his hock in the ground. He, He's a little, kind of a little strong in his face still, but that horse is getting his hot down. If you keep working at it, that's going to get better. Thirty-eight. He's got the dragging that log right there, right up close to him. He's not back there on the end of forty foot of rope. He's got that right up under that horse's hand foot. He's taking it. Lot thirty-seven. Down there, circling that colt around. The horse has not had a whole lot of riding, but he's had good riding. And they've been using him on the ranch, gathering, making some miles. He's acting good here today, you know, with this speaker squeaking and carrying on and the wind blowing a little bit and lots of people in new sights and sounds. He's not acting bug eyed. Silly. We've got lot number 39. Just came through the gate. Barry O'Connor on 39. Big new Rome Guild in here. And right over there across the log. Log 37. Nikki Mill in here. She's, she's galloping the right circle on this horse. Loose rain. Ears up. Good forward extension, not having to do a lot of jockey in there to keep him in that right lead. Lot 39 up and over the log, straight away, no problem. Lot 37, now she's going to take the take left lead. As his coat moves pretty, he goes forward nice. He's got his ears up, reaching behind there. He probably hasn't had a ton of circles locked on him, and he's already wanting to stay, stay up there and keep his shoulders up. Jerry just got the coat off there. Horse is all busy with the coat. You know what I mean? I mean, if you're getting the coat off and on, getting it off the fence, so having somebody's hand something to you. About 39 is good at the coat. Good at the log, riding right up and over the log. He's going to trip over there. The old horse is not scared of it. He's not jittering around. Back and forth. Getting the, getting the rope off the fence. He's going to drag this log around here on our blue. He's watching that log come up behind him. He's all business, so that horse is he's watching it, but he's not ready to leave or do anything bad. That's a good old, good old ranch guild. He's had lots of that, lots of cattle roped on him, lots of branding. Throwing it over either side here, and he's not worried about that, riding back under it. Lot number 37 just left the pen. Nicky's down there, leaning way down there, getting that gate. That's kind of a bad lap there. That cold just let it be down and get that gate. Lot 37, we left the pen. We've got lot number 40. We've got Jaime here on, uh, I'll be playful too. Nice guild in here, well bred horse. 
son of C.D. Olena, his daddy, and out of a I'll be smart daughter, full sister, the smart brother, full brother, the smart brother, Lena. And her parson badger with a little peppy son. Um, he's got, you know, this horse is a product of, of good breeding. Up and over the log there, no problem. Got a good little cadence way of going, lighten the bridle. We got lot 39 at the bridge. He's just up and on the bridge. There he is, step, step, step. No issues there at the bridge. Walk up there again. One, two, three, four. Stand there and wait for you. He's not up there and thinking, okay, I got to rock it off here because I don't like it. Lot, lot 40. Got the coat all over him. He's taking that, backing that out. You're not going to have any issues wanting to take the coat off on a windy day with this gilding. Lot 40. We've got lot 39 here. Okay, he took the left lead as he started. Jay broke him down. He's going straight away there. Just ease him over there. He took the right lead. This horse knows his lead. He hits the ground easy. He's loping around there on a slight rein between the bridle reins. Lot 40 is dragging the log. He's all business at the log. We're not having any issues there. Guys, as quick as we get done with this trail class here, we're going to have, we're going to run a few stock horses, and then we're going to have our doctrine and ramen contest, and uh, and then we're going to eat when we get done today. So we're going to we're going to try to keep our head down and keep moving. And uh, well, let's go 30, 39 turn around here. That horse just steps around really, really nice. Loping around here, he takes his leads both ways. When he goes from a shot to a lope, he's right in the correct lead. Get away, he points in. This is a 2009 model, but same deal. Big long horse here, and this horse is letting him lope him down in a little old circle. You know, he moves around like an old fashioned body horse. He holds his head a little higher, but he's light with the stops hit the ground there. Uh, probably a sleeper here too. He didn't get a very good video of this horse up. But if you came to get a good old horse, this horse is an 09 model, very fatty sensory is a colt. And uh, if, you, if you haven't got him marked, you need to go visit with Jerry and pay attention to this field. Hey. Lot 39, nice gilding, riding very good in the bridle there. Lot 40, the same. Jaime got this horse. He was loping out there, little pony lope, you know. Same deal. If you've got a girl at home you want to get the rodeo cleaning or some kids that you want to take to the fair this time, get them through the ex Western Education and Ranch Course class. Either one of these horses. We've got about 41 at the gate. About 39 walking out there on the loose thing. Just walking all around. 40 coming around there. Just get the ground going. Get a little pretty little lead for us here. On lot 40. We've got Jared Doman here on lot 41 on Al. He, this is a registered horse. If you've got your book in front of you, he is a registered horse. He had a little mix up with some time and did get the papers in, but he is papered, so he is not great. Going by the Helomatic here. Are, are you going to bulldog that one now, Jared? Or? Oh, he's going on by the Jared. Jared is not a bad bulldog either. Big old staff and kid. Good hand. Crossing the log. We've got lot 40 down there. That horse got a good little easy way of going. I I would tell you what to do from the sideline. If you open him up, Jaime, you want to stand on the gas pedal? What gallop him fast around there once and then slow him down. Yeah. Open him up a little bit. 
hace más rápido. Más uh, rápido. Rápido, rápido. Guys, this is a really nice horse, and that was good of Jaime to let me do that. Thanks to him. I'm only going to ask him to because I figured he would. Uh, if you come, come for a nice one, I, the same deal. This is a good, good little horse, and, and uh, pretty dang broke. And he's had him doing everything. Lots, a good video of him that he had up early. Very nice, Jaime. Right spin there, you know, just step, step, stepping around here. That horse, same deal. If, Probably not going to go to a big open show or something, but in, on a county fair level or whatever, this horse and club level, you could go have a lot of fun. And honestly, if you probably send the training trainer or something, that horse has got some upside training very easily too. But I'm just going to have some job with this horse. I appreciate the consignment. Nice field in lot 40. Lot 41, he's down there dragging the coat down. No issues at all with Al there at the coat. Just Getting ready to drag the log over here. We need lot 42. PG Firestar. We got him coming through the gate right here. Get at the gate. Side pass each way. Can we line down off of there? No problem. Loose range. Riding along straight ahead. Stands from the walk to the trot nicely. Ears up. Up and over the log. Loose rain here, same deal here. If you want to go do some natural trail stuff, have some have some fun and low pain do I think too. This horse got a really good look. This gray horse. Low headed. Good pretty way of going. About forty one. Jared galloping some circles around here. I don't Jared helped me here a few couple weeks ago, and honestly, I don't know if the same probably had to gallop hardly any circles at all on this horse. And right away, this, this horse is taking his lead and going both ways. Brian Jinky over there on lot 42, whipping that coat around all over him. Head up in the air. That horse is not watching it one bit. He's not concerned at all. Lot 41, stopping, going go to the, go to the right. He's in the right lead. Just when you wait till you get down there on that other end and then come to the left. Okay, he's in the right lead. Just kind of working on that, and it's getting better a little at a time. Horse switch, switch in the front. Oh, he's about to get there. This horse is seeing lots of outside views, and, and uh, like I say, if you don't do a ton of this circling around, they're all going to stick around. Perfectly, it seems better and very trainable. Good minded horse, and he's done a lot of hard work on him and done a good job with him. Dragging the log on 42, he's not watching that at all. I mean, he's got his ear up and board and back, but loose rein, either side of his hip, I'm not scared of that, I'm not bothered in any way. We're gonna roll past 43. I'll work him later today if someone's here to see him, but. We're going to keep moving. The kids are gathering up some cattle for this contest, and I'll get on with that wild horse and show him if anybody came to see him. We need lot 44. 44 at the gate. We've got Danny over there, Wendy. Always wait for first to wait. Lot 42 at the, at the bridge. Same deal here, no hesitation, up over, one, two, three, four, onto the grid. All business at the grid. Got Danny on Gay Bar Wood, he's a 2006 model, Buxton Guild, and Big Stone Guild, and Gay Rays, and the small ranch grab horse. Big smooth, pretty horse here. Coming right along, good at the gate. Starting over there to the log loose thing. Between the fence and the elomatic, he's not worried about that. We got Brian here taking the left lead. Got a good lead to post here. Trot it off. And technically, you know, it's the horse show. They got to go from the walk to the gallop. This horse 
is not far from that, but he's he's got a good way of moving. He's a product of good breeding as well. His horses are in his range move well. Danny's over here gonna get the coat fell down off the fence, it looks like, and he's gonna reach down there and I'll work there and get the coat up off the ground. Let him reach right down there off of it, get his coat. Didn't leave him hung out to dry when he got the coat off the fence, off the ground essentially. That's what he reached way down there. Break him down, Brian. Dragging the log there on 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 uh, gay bar wood there. All business with the law, we just didn't get taking that around there to low. I guess if you wanted to get in the high race at the Pioneer days or something and drag something around, but he's not worried about it at all. He's, he's taking it around there to high low. Big old stuff, but you know, if I could say, these, there's three of these older buildings in the cell that been there, done that, and they're sound still and good and solid and. Uh, Come to not have to ride one like the one Jack down was getting built. And pay attention to these older buildings. But 42 has got his rope down. He's under his butt there and around. Good about that. We need lot number 45 at the gate. Lot number 45. Then just shrug the log on, on old 44. Gay bar wood, uh, big stout, pretty buttermilk buckskin. Those buttermilk that buckskin just aren't always that common and a uh, pretty colored horse. And big hip, good foot, good top on him. We got Jason Steffler here on lot 45, bit of time. He's a 17 model, he's a four year old, Ron Gildan. Really good video this horse, Brandon Cavs on him and doing quite a bit of work in the trail. That horse really, really doing his job and looks good, thanks. Fair stuff is inserted in a lot of cattle and a lot of outside country and a lot of inside riding too, but that horse is brought up with that fair program and riding really well. Lot 44 just went up and over the bridge. He's all business with the bridge. And I'm just going to circle him this way. Getting the coat off the fence there on bit of shiny, that cold stand there, no problem. Drag to go right over his neck, both sides and over his hip. Good, and he's going to drag the log there on lot 45. Lot 44. Shot in both ways there. Lot 45, dragging that log clear around behind the hips on that colt. Same deal there. If they don't, aren't going to take that right there, you know, you've seen a few today that didn't like it even behind them. But there's only one way to, to get them doing that, and that's to stick it down there and do it. And it isn't always a, accepted. So that, that's a good minded colt, very sensible, and uh, showing really well in the trail today. Danny roping around here on the left lead, on old Danny, on old Buck here. Loose rain, got his left lead, ears up, straight away. He's going to speed him up the tip. Come around there. Rapido, rapido, Danny. <laughs> Very good. Force slows down. Easy. You know, you can open him up, slow him down, just sit down on him, take a little hold of him, and it's all good. 
stop trade. Back him up to his face back there. He's got Billy Ward here on Peggy's paint, the open paint something on. It's an 09 model. Get to the gate. Going right up here and around. About 46. He's going to cross the log. Johnny's stepping this horse down these days. This horse got a good ranch horse handle on him, you know. He's the same deal if you wanted to try to go home and do a little bit, a little bit of polish and you try to go to the ranch horse contest on him too, you know, as far as the ranch trail. And you got something you got to rope the cow with or whatever. And then there's the cow all the way back. He takes his left lead in the circle. Right? And just then, right, worked a lot on his leads on him, but the horse moves in it, you know, anyhow, there he's going to get it on his own. He's got it in the front, a little bump, and he's got it behind. So, good moving horse that isn't going to let you get stuck in the wrong gear right there. That horse got a strong reaching basically without asking if he's steady enough, he got it. So, for a big horse, the same deal, he hits the ground good. He got lot 45 down there, circling each way. This colt's loping around with his chin down, up in his extension, loaded it, you know, hit the ground, rounded his back, set the hawk in the ground, and he went to the stop. And Billy Ward down there, dragging the log on the paint horse. Paint horse there, watchy, steady at that log. Billy's a good cowboy, and he's getting it done. Uh, of course, he's kind of watching it, so I'd say he's probably going to put a green rider on him and say drag that log, but if you got any wits about you and can ride a little bit, that horse is taking a big, handsome, black and white horse, a uh, big old round hip on him, and I'd say if you got a girl or something home with a rider and wants something to run cans or poles or do something like that, that horse is a mover. He wants to get around here, hits the ground easy. Good prospect. Step, step, step in the right turn there. Yeah. Four-year-old there, same deal. That horse has got the fundamentals of the spin down, the little twister in the left and the right, but right there, he went home, put the spin boots on, stepped out it. That horse got the foundation of the turn around on it. We've got lot number 46. He just crossed the grid. <laughs> Getting a little local on that 45 taking the safe of each way. We've got Justin Sorn from 148. He just came through on Sam. Good at the gate. He's going on around here, going to cross the log. Lot 45 is the part arena, walking out on a smooth, loose rain, head down, stepping right around. That Colts had to go somewhere at the end of the day, and he's the kind of, if you got some country to use. He's going to put his head down and go home and do it more. Lot, lot number 46. Billy, he's ready to carry the flag at the grand entry on the same horse. He's opening him up here and uh, pushing him around here. This is a big, good moving horse here. Spread him up and slowed him right back down. You know, a lot of times he. You stand on the gas pedal like that, and they don't all slow down now good again. So this horse is—he's got some engine and some go, but he—but he's not mean and he's not cranky. Um, you don't need somebody who knows what they're doing for a bit too that can get the best out of him. But this horse is—they've been using him there down that mode off and all around up here and on him and uh, doing the deal. Dragging the log there on Sam. Same deal here. He got that rope clear back down behind him. Cut the, over his hip tail head there. Watching that. Good about that on the. All righty, we have lot 49, lot number 49 at the gate. 
Billy Ward just finished his dry work there on 46. Just opened that horse up, made him go fast, wide open, slowed him down. Uh, stepping right along there. The horse got a good feel in his face, got his chin down. Slugging him a little bit, get, you know, a little bit too handed here and there. But that's a good deal then if you got some miles at home and some views. If somebody wants to get on one go every day and get something going on, you're going to get a lot of good out of him. Lots, lot number 48, Sam, just crossed the bridge, up and over the bridge. Lot number 49, just came in, crossed the log, up and over the log, no big deal at all. Hope this with Alina. She's a... David Marcus Shanahan can sign big stat on horse here. Uh, same deal if you got a big man to carry around and to get around and on a horse that's got some life and go and in the bridle. Good ranch skilled in here. All business at the log and go get the coat off the fence. Running stop to old Sam here. Not number 48. Got the coat there. You guys know where to get the coat on old 49. He's good on that old. We got the entire game. Not 49. Got the coat on there. Going around there, standing there waiting for him. Well, lot number 48, just walking around there in a circle. Got to stop. Still using two hands on the roll now, Rain. So essentially, you know, in the bridle, you know, got to do that. You should, you should use a snaffle bit at some point, but that horse is riding in that loose shank a bit, but you get oh, still two handed, very much two handed still. He's been using it now on the round side six weeks, and the horse come along quite a bit. Um, they did want to make note he did, does need an experienced rider. Justin made a good video of him. If you get on and watch that video, you can you get quite a bit of verbiage about him and, and show quite a bit. Lot number 49, uh, Dave Shanahan here dragging the log on old Driftwood Arena. Of course, is not bothered by it at all, just taking that log right and left and forward and back. Get that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Peggy Davis. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's a pretty good looking. He's a pretty good looking. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Guys, we have a stock horse class before the doctoring, so we've got to have some cattle that don't have a number on them. Do we know that, Sydney? So if we've got to go get some of those steers out there too, instead of those little heifers. Okay, lot fifty at the at the gate. We just need to let those cattle settle back there because we've got to use some of them for the stock horse. And then we need enough cattle to number for the branding contest. 
Lot number 50, just crossed the log. I On the bridle, straight away, you know, go for this easy swim circle. You know, you come down, we'll do a stop, and the same deal, you're not going to go win there on this horse, but if you got real land work to do, you can rid in that bridle, you can go right and left in it, and uh, been doing a real job on him. Picked up the lope here, he's about to get the very good okay. Started in the right lead, now he's in the left lead, but same deal. He's sort of some men rolled around outside a whole lot. He's got the right lead track there. If you just keep at it do a little bit, this horse came behind a bit between the reins. Here's up, open around out the right hold on him. Let's get open around. We've got line number 50, just got the log across the, the getting ready to cross the bridge there on all. Mama's Pep, Dick McGarry on lot 50. We've got Thomas Wilson on 51 at the gate, BW Dual Flame. We've got Dave here stepping his gun, throwing horse around. Just get the right spin. We can both be straight down here again, coming the other way. <laughs> Yeah. Come down here straight, stopped at low, all to good, he's going to get the left spin again around here, step, step, step down, got a lot of, lot of hardship there, looks off easy here, just bending around here to the right, maybe switch leads here. Lot 51 up and over the log. He's good. He's getting ready to go get the coat. About 49 down there. Dave's doing a little bit of right and left on him, right and left, you know, getting to sit in the gate and get in front of one right and left and do a little sorting again. And he's not going to crawl on his belly and, you know, nail them all. But to do what you got to do on the ranch, you got to sit in the gate and do a little bumping back and forth that horse is. For big horses, especially right in between the reins, nice strong gilding. Big stout horse. You got somebody, can deal somebody needing a big strong horse to carry him around and, and it's been landing and mansion and doing the whole deal. Good, good long gilding. Cross fifty here, big shelf around here, right circle on, left circle on him. We've got Thomas Wilson over there on 51 dual plane. Did the coat, quiet at the coat, getting ready to do the getting ready to do the log gag. Lot 51, lot, lot number 50 here. Uh, good moving horse here. Horse got his hind end up under him. Thank <laughs> you. 
Go to left scan, right scan. Lot 51, Thomas is dragging the log down there on him. Good about the log. Ears up, loose thing, quiet about the log. So I'm going to unlock 51. He's getting ready to you go down there and cross the bridge. Nothing over the bridge. All business there at the bridge. So I'm going to get it to get it. Lot 52. We can take 52 at the gate. I'm sure you will, but I mean, I can. Actually, all I know is the name, and I know what I've seen, but I've got quite a in my life. Yeah, you've been there every year, and you know, 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 you uh, across the log here. This horse is ears up, loose rain, walking right down there. All business is going to that log crossing. Lot 51. Loping around here on a loose rain. Uh, my horse got, got a good little cadence for the rope, and my son had dashed the fame out of his granddaughter dual cap. Uh, this horse has got some good breeding, and he, he's a, I think he's the same. I told some people that this horse is kind of a sleeper in the sale. I, I don't, those guys are kind of running in the cavity, and I, this horse is probably packing another hand on his pound. Easy as much frame as he's got. And, uh, he, he hits the ground right and uh, got the got the, the left the well bred horse. Thomas has been I like said he's been there the inside last couple of years and those guys got lots of guys to take care of. Lot fifty two, good at the coat. He's with Jody's whipping that coat all over there. And uh that horse is taking it, he's not boogering at it at all. Taking his, took his right lead, now he's taking his left lead. That's a pretty moving horse. I don't know if, you know, we've got any time to vent people in here or that, but let's have to spread that, like they say, do a lot, a lot of different stuff. Hits the ground good. Go so left, left spin, basically the phone mouth, go left spin, I said. Got a lot of trouble there. He's not even a loose shank bit. He's in between that turn and then two running in, but stepping in around there. To the right. <laughs> Jody Cooper go over there on lot 52. Dragging the log. Buxton horse is taking the log really good. Yeah, she was gone. Just drug the log. Down the log, walking all the way up on 52. Billy, you're down the log. You're just on the 51. Just yeah. look around to the drive. Same deal. Nice deal. The log. Lots of examples there. 
I'm doing a real job. It's the same deal. I don't get a lot of people calling that they don't have enough money to buy one. And that whole joke, this is not going to give away. But I think that some of these are, you know, they don't just finish the work, they're doing a sale, but a channel, then in the good old time, a channel, a article, you'll do a horse, and then get a horse from him, and you have to We've got lot number 53A, the supplement here. Five year old building by Chop Kari. You don't have the supplement page, you can get that supplement page on 53A over there. And uh, the horse is riding good here, just came out of here, across here, no nonsense from the gate, had to go over to cross the log. Heels up, right up and over the log. Lot 52. I was taking his right lead good, loafing around there without a lot of jockeying and steering. Pretty moving horse. Heels up. Good extension behind. He's in the long lead there now, but he's about to get it. Well, 52 here, he's turning this horse around. This horse got a little step in his right turn. And, uh, Got a good little cut cadence there in that left right turn. Well, 53 Gary dragging the log, did the coat. Of course, all business with this stuff. I'd say the other day, if you haven't done to too much of it, he's watching it a little. He's, he's not even worried about it today. 53 A, if you want a prospect to go home on and keep it going, that horse is five. Thanks, you're ready to take an all day ride. And uh, same note, still got a lot of upside. You know, if you don't want to face a lot of somebody else's training, 53 A is a good prospect. Bar 52. Yeah, He's not taking his leads each way. He will go up the aisle each way, but he's got a little work there. He's about to get it. There he goes. He's got it now. This horse is a good mover, you can tell. He, he hits the ground, he, he sorts up. He had a big long reach with that hind leg. Back to the rope, man. After you can vlog. Turn that big one up there, you can run the whole way in, but we never have a chance to do that. 53A over there crossing the log, crossing the bridge. I mean, 52, he's running up there, he's going to smash him up. We've got Becky Hawkins on her very deal in by DW Heavy at Playdown. Same deal, another one here. I I told a few people don't overlook this or uh it wouldn't be hard to have him here in a year and look and twice as good. I she, she's done good things with him. I know she hasn't been breaking him hard, but uh of course is quiet. She's been scratching on him, crossing water, right up and over the log, tail up. Do that. 53A going to open some circles here. This horse is a pretty low for, you know, same deal. I, he hasn't been doing much circling at home. And this horse to get around here. Same deal here. I don't know. His, I think his strings are smacking him on the butt a little bit there. Just get the roll down. But bending around there. <laughs> Fifty-three. We got fifty-four over there. Getting a coat. She just got the coat off the fence. She's getting ready to drag the log over there. Fifty-three. 
stock horse entries and then we're going to tie into our doctrine and branding contest we'll have a minute we won't number we got to put paint uh numbers on those cattle and we'll have a little just a little bit after the stock horse cut before we tie into numbering those cattle but uh, lots of action here still today and uh we appreciate your patience we realize it's an all-day deal here working these horses and watching them but I feel like it's all worth the time to watch them go. You know, I myself, I, I just, you know, when you go to buy one, I, you know, it's nice to see him move out. It's nice to see that well, he takes his leaves or he does them, or they went fast and he slowed down, came down quickly, or, or you know, he didn't. But in my opinion, it's just, it's hard to, to, to do a very active job buying one and, and getting the right one without spending a little time watching them. I know we. It, it turns into an ordeal here before it's over, and I say everybody get it close one dang tired. But I, I, I know for me, I like to watch, and, and, and uh, it helps me. I, you don't have to make a decision in an hour. You got, you got a few weeks to watch the videos, and now you got two days there to watch them again. And, and, uh, and, I, and I just feel like it's a better way to do it. I know we sometimes take some money off of some horses, but if we get a little bit less, and just kind of go along with it wouldn't have to show some of that stuff that maybe wasn't good. But like you say, no money doesn't go on TV. You know, the government's giving it away right now. And, uh, you know, we'd like people to, to be able to buy a horse with that money you know, get, get some real value with the stuff that's going on. So they do it this way. 54, up and down here. He's open both ways. Straight away, yeah. Uh, that's just pretty good to this horse. I, I know if he went home and, and uh, got right after it and gave him a little push if he stuck it up or not. She has not tried at all, he, and he's doing a good job with her. She's doing it anyhow. She's done an excellent job with, it, with that colt. If you come to a young horse, they can't do it. About 50, 55 yeah, cricket. She's loping around here right up in the range. She drugged the log. Get at the log, 
look across the bridge good. Wife started going around here. She's loping right there, chin down and shoulders up and straight away in the lope. Hit the ground nice, stuck the hawk down and then we took a hold of her to stop her. Um, we've got lot number 50, 56 is a stretch. We've got lot number 57. Throwing Sam down. Oh, 58, I'm sorry. Rowan Sundown's coming around here, my brother's got a couple back to back in this deal. Um, 58, this is up. Zeb Ramson on his good little roam there here. Same deal. This boy had a video up a long, long time ago. A bunch of that stuff he sent me. He filmed with the snow blowing. He was in an indoor arena with open sides. That kid was out there training horses in that bad weather, and this mare was doing a job. Uh, good roan mare, and, and uh, this boy's been done a good, good job with it. Lot 55. He's riding to the left, riding to the right. They still got some little horse training there, but same deal if you. I want to get out and go in the hills. It's not been getting used to tree top and then you've been outside and done that. Side pass on each way. We've got lot 58. I'm getting all ready to drag the log. I don't know if Casey's close anywhere on 57 or not. We, he might be the best rider in the sale today. Uh, they said it was in the course we just, I think we've got 11 teams for our doctrine and branding contest, and then we've got uh, we've got three stock horses, but we're going to do our little stock horse class here first, then we'll get ready for our, 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 our roping contest. You do not have to enter that, that contest, we're giving some rifles away, and so we're going to be kind of high stakes and guys around the gun for it. But some of these guys that have good enough horse to do it just don't want to go wide open and ride like banshees and, and show the horse that way. So you know, see them doing that, but just because they're not in it doesn't mean they're not capable or whatever. We're going to brand some calves in the morning, and we're going to uh, rope some yearlings tomorrow and give those guys a chance to work a single cow. We've got a single deal of folks like tomorrow, so we're going to have to make those new right now. Oh, we'll get it all in. We'd like to be done an hour before the sale tomorrow. That'd be the time to kind of get the business in order. For sale consigners, we do have a meeting tonight in that red barn after the barbecue there tonight. So do not leave. Uh, it is a mandatory meeting if you're here with the horse in the sale uh, with the auctioneer and myself. So do not leave without attending that meeting tonight. Zeb's getting ready to open this mare around here. She started in the wrong lead. He broke her down. He's got her lead. This mare lopes pretty. She's got a. She's going to want to stop to about 57. Big stand up going colt here. My brother's on and my dad's. Out of my dad's old Tix Renegade mare. He's got a bay horse out of her that little guy on that place that didn't ever trade for anything, or anything. This is a good call, one of the first by this real Jericho doc. Guys, we just watched uh, 50, 55, 56, I think. Fifty five, fifty eight. He's leaving the fan. That's going out on getting the gate on that roan Philip. He's got a lot of fifty seven in there. Casey dropped the log a little bit here yesterday on him. This two year old just twenty five rides on him or so or thirty. Coming along, Colt's doing good. Anyway, he says that you still have to start moving. Get them from the camera. So I. Dad, you want to go pick the auction 
near us at the airport. He just sent me a text saying he's going to be there in about 30 minutes. Dragging the log out here on Oroni here. I don't think he hasn't dragged it a bunch. This colt's got a little watch and a little red some feel to him, but I think if somebody's got a little bit of know how and some use, it's going to be a nice handsome horse and good moving horse. We're starting to get close here, guys. We, we're not going to fool around and water this pan. I apologize, it's a little bit dusty, but that ground's a little bit thin on the ends. And if we got to go, ride and go fast down here, I'm not going to water it up too much. We'll water it again tonight, but uh, we're going to kind of go on with this thing and just go with it. Have our stock horse pass on the ground, and then and then we'll uh, we'll get a couple barrels up and have our doctor, and then we'll run some cattle and have our band. And we've got 11 teams for those contests, and so uh, anyhow, Casey's going to finish here on his log drag here. We do need to get those panels there on that end of the arena as quick as he's done. We need to pull those panels around. My brother-in-law is an electrician, and we've done me. We've been running that electronic chute, airloaded chute for a year with annually. I think he's over there trying to figure out electrically how well, we can get the remote control working. It functions. You just have to pull the string. But we're Casey's crossing the log there on 57, crossing the, the bridge. Pardon me, up and over the bridge. Two old guild in there. Do we have a do we have a list anywhere? I don't know where sell horse sell secretary is. I guess we're coming along for a list here in a bit. We'll get the I get the four wheeler and pull that spear out of here. And then if they can lope this colt around to the left and the right. Yeah, you can ride that. Guys, I on lot number sixty, that yearling there of Mary Nelson's, he is at the fairgrounds. Um, he had a little bump on his jaw this morning. He does not have a fever, but we didn't want to bring him here. Not for sure what. If you came to look at that colt. Uh, you need to call Cole Hook or come get me, and somebody could look at him. He doesn't—he wasn't running a fever, but he had a nod on his jaw. And decided he didn't want to have him here on the ground. He was prepared for something. In fact, he had no fever, so I you know if it was what it was. But anyhow, if you can't get that good Cole from Mary Nelson, he is in Burns at the fairgrounds in the stall. He's not here. Guys, 57. <laughs> Here, uh, stand up Colt here, stepping out, good, good moving Colt. He got a little energy and a little life, and just like most two year olds. If, if you ride him 15, 20 minutes a day, four or five days a week, in no time you got some headway. If you ride him once a week, sometimes you don't make a lot of headway. Um, you don't get worse, and maybe just kind of feel like you're at a draw. But, uh, they, they've been getting some riding on him there. I know Casey hasn't had time to ride him every single day by any means. And so, 